Okay, okay, okay. Me, I'm great. I'm I'm your god. <laughs> oh, so so okay. Um, hello, I'm Whiskey. I am um, I'm the tactical VTuber everyone knows and love. Also, Cliff, you are apparently still muted. I think I've fixed that now. Holy shit, I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, you know what it was? You know what it was? I did a graphics driver update and it resets everything. Dude, scuffed stream. Scuffed stream. Let's fucking go. All right, let's try oh that God. again. Let's try that once more. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, hello, hello, everyone. Uh, my name's Cliff Arth. You can call me Cliff. I am a lesser Mothman VTuber. Um, I stream horror games, have a passive interest in cryptozoology. It's, it, today I'm joined by... The amazing, there we go. one and only, tactical <laughs> VTuber PC Project, the glorious, glorious me, your, uh, your god, the deity, uh, the sleepy in the depth. Yep. I, I'm see, um, I am sure all the legends about by many Cthulhu things. are actually about me and my <laughs> migraines in the morning and my low blood pressure in the morning. Like Cthulhu, Cthulhu is just a... Uh, me about shit first thing whenever I'm on You're gonna you are gonna actually morning. love another part of the stream I've got set up ready through this PowerPoint I'm gonna be doing. Nice. Also, uh yeah, I can just um I, uh, I sent you a request on Steam. Yes, that is all good. Um I have sent you the password to the room. Okay, okay, wait a second. So join. Yes. Connecting to the internet. Yes. A cliff. It's me. What up? And now the password. Now I need to import the password. Yes. Oh, oh, why? Oh, no. Oh, why? <laughs> but no, um, thank you. Know you. What, that's a good, uh, also, make sure to check that you can move me. Uh, uh, yes, don't worry. Do not worry. I, I fully expect you to... It's it's ready, though. You can oh, activate it. Are you... It, it, it's up. It um, I'm, I'm waiting for you to load in. You're not here Also, yet. yeah. So, this is the model you were talking about. <laughs> yes! Yes, because because self care is having a horrible fucked up monster model. You see, with me, I don't need a horrible <laughs> fucked up monster model because the monster is always hidden inside. There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So, guys, we said those jokes on stream. Uh, but what was this? Yeah, fucking science. nerdy moth uo brat correction yes. needed. Unfucking believable. Also, I hang on. Oh, oh, Correction needed, Brad. <laughs> I'm, I, okay, it's taking a while to load the win. Oh yeah, no, thank you a lot for that. I, I do quite appreciate it. Um. <laughs> oh god. Okay, do I do this? Is it? Are you in? Oh yeah, yeah. I think I see myself. I, okay, the... I don't see you. Oh yeah, wait, hang on. Body horror self I'm really sorry. No problem. No problem. <sighs> um. But no, thank you for like. Oh, oh, fuck. Whiskey is big and she is here. Oh, shit. This is canonical size. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna move you. I'm gonna move you. You're gonna get moved. Okay, wait a second. I need to change the settings. There is like a setting on it. Nope. Oh, God. Now you're like right in the middle, too. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Um, can I Can I make a request? Yes. Can I have the magical, the the the, wiz, the witch outfit? <laughs> oh God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> or is that a different thing entirely? Like there's there's two, there's oh, two oh, of you here fine, now. It's fine. I got. Uh, wait a second. There is two of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is the reactive. Wait a second. The Halloween whiskey. Is <laughs> Momski. Here. What do you call your fans? Whiskey heads. <laughs> I, I you see the funny the funny joke here to, to be said would be okay. jarheads, but jarheads. Conscripts. Macbeth saying conscripts. I would say conscripts. My glory is glorious. Your um, glorious conscripts. Interns. Interns. Alcoholics. Uh, there is a lot of jokes I could make. <gasps> there she is. We didn't never make like an official name because the, when I was starting out, it was a little bit like mm -hmm. tricky. I like that you kept the fucking contacts with this as well. 
Yes. That's that's incredible. I can also, um, oh, hang on. Show you the. Fine. You do, see, do, I can do, also you, do your model powerful. showcase. <gasps> oh shit. My head <laughs> do the yeah okay. Is it time for you to do a model showcase on my stream? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think this is good. This is good. This is good. All right. I'm gonna go pop you down here. This 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 model technically works with all of the body armor and guns too. There's no fucking way. Can, can you pull the gat out real quick? Uh, wait a second. <laughs> I need to open it in like you know the expression. Ah editor. yes. Oh, okay. That's a clever way of doing that. Wait a second. So first of all, oh, I gosh. To toggle the witch, and now I can put like a. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what do we go with? Can... Okay, uh, do you want to see the spell of seeing in the night? Sure thing, sure thing. F first, I will put on the context though, so that I can hear you. <laughs> there, there we go. This is this is the this is the spell of enhanced hearing. Right. Oh, okay. this is the spell of seeing in the night. <laughs> spell of see. <laughs> I'm getting like reverse isekai vibes from this. Which died in an alternate reality in a freak. Oh my god, it's just hanging on your waist. <laughs> it's, it's the it's the it's the invisible, uh, the, the, the most powerful magic of all. The invisible, <laughs> <laughs> the invisible sling. Watch as I float this gat with my mind. Okay, wait a second. Do you want to see something okay. more funny? Okay, okay. So, do you see that fal? Yeah, so that's a, that's pointed directly at my head. Now you are demonetized. Oh no, you fucker! <laughs> That's good. That's good. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you see, the funny part is no one fucking expects it. That's really fucking good. Oh god. <laughs> But no, I, I do want to say a very big thank you for joining me for this. It's it's a bit of an unexpected one. Um, I I don't know. I, oh, no. I I appreciate that you take me off on this, but I feel like we had a bit of a scuffed setup going into this. But that's oh, fine. No, wait a second, the the, the witch outfit broke because I had oh, no. the fucking oh, no. expression. Oh no! Okay, I'm, I'm putting you oh, back it's down. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I just need to okay. like you know put a a quick reset <laughs> of everything. Oh, you see, I God. set up the witch a long, long time ago before I had a stream deck, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, right, yeah. Stream deck's on my list of things that I need to get at some point, possibly, for kind of, like, streamer cred. Oh, I know what happened. Okay, it didn't break. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh. I, I tapped my numpad. She's animorphing into a witch again. There we go. Oh, hang on, I got I got to share my screen to you real quick as well, so you actually know what yeah, the PowerPoint oh, presentation yeah. is. <laughs> okay, there we go. I need to say, until I talked to you, I did not actually ever hear the term cryptozoology. Okay, so don't worry, we've actually got a good definition, a good few things going on in here to get you all up to speed and everything. Um, so I, this the whole idea with this was like, okay. Do we know anything about cryptozoology? Do we know anything about cryptozoologists, cryptids, and what to do if we find ourselves in danger in the event of a cryptid attack? Are you drinking on stream? Started. Are you yes. drinking? <laughs> okay. Okay, Luke, okay. I'm about to see some huge. Um, I, I assume, I just assume mm -hmm. from knowing you, yeah, knowing, knowing me. your streams, knowing your <laughs> friends, especially one certain mutual friend we both yeah. know that loves body horror too, and yeah. does a lot of gut stuff with yeah. uh, you know, body horror. Yeah. So knowing this, I feel like I will need a drink. Hang on, who is this? Oh. Gas mask? Ah, 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 yeah, I, okay, I didn't know, I'm learning something new about gas mask today. <laughs> Doesn't he draw a lot of... I didn't know! <laughs> Cursed gut stuff. I, I didn't know, but that's that's very like I'm I'm you kneeling before know? him now. <laughs> I thought that you know him personally. <laughs> I already started talking to him like last week. <laughs> uh you see it's really fucking funny because when I look at his Twitter I was like, hey, this looks like something. Oh, this looks like someone who draws like the naughty naughty with like people getting maybe a bit violenced. 
<laughs> no, not really even that much naughty. Like, uh, it, it's more like just body horror gore mm-hmm. and like, you know, body horror, horror stuff. Mm-hmm. And I was like, damn, he definitely talks to Cliff. Are they friends? <laughs> yeah, they are friends on Discord. I literally... <laughs> they probably know each other for ages. <laughs> I already met him last week. <laughs> I had something to complain about that seemed like up his alley, and I was like, this is how I'll introduce myself to him. This is how I'll get it going. This is funny. This is actually really funny. Also, it seems that someone had the same experience. It's like, oh god. (laughs) Oh god. Okay. 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 So, presentation time. Um, it's 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 cryptozoology, but also self defense. I've I've got a few questions, a few hypotheticals, and knowledge to impart upon you. Um, shall we take this oh, little boy. little deep dive together? Let's so, see. Let's see. Let's go for a little bit of basic information first of all. I didn't have enough time. I, I mentioned uh, I messaged you about this earlier today. Where I was like, hey, I'm not really able to get the stream done in time. There's a few things that are scuffed. The one thing I was hoping to actually get into the stream. Part of the stream. Uh, no, 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 no. So the one thing I was hoping to get into the stream was like fun, like PowerPoint transitions. Did you ever like enjoy messing around with those? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of I, course. It's it's missing that. It, there's no soul in this stream. Oh god, I have a really horrible experience. You see, once I had like a really important uh, presentation. Right. With like you know multiple people at very very high fucking rank. Like, no, I could imagine. Imagine those people who are like you know four ranks above you attending oh, your presentation, no. and then you you put all of those fancy animations in there, <laughs> and do you know what happens? What happened? Were they PC laughing? Crashed because no. Of too many animations and the PC. In- in the, it was a really old PC which I was supposed to use. No. And like I just tried to transition from the fucking first slide to the second and the fan PC was like, mm, I, I think no actually. The PC just went <laughs> <laughs> like oh. just, just went off. Oh, uh, hilariously enough, the way I fixed it in the end is I connected my laptop Beat to it the. Up. Oh, so right, just, just HDMI it through. Laptop. But you see, that was almost first because I had an anime desktop. Oh, no. Who was it? But it was anime no, 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 no. So, like, Okay, that's fine. Like, the, 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 everyone there started giggling, of course. Who was it, though? Gut. Who was it? Do you remember who was on your wallpaper? The, the, that is classified information. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it wasn't anything bad, though. It was, like, just one of those um, nondescript anime girls. Oh, yeah, it's the anime girl with gun. She is doing the shoot, possibly operating operationally. Yes. Oh, God. Okay, so. Also, I feel like I should say thank you to everyone who followed me, because that was a fair bit, and I'm like, oh, oh, people. Hi. Hello. All right, so. What is a cryptid? Um... I'm actually gonna like pose that to you first of all. What what do you think a cryptid is, Whiskey? We've got a little visual guide here as well. I mean, the moment I look at this, the mm-hmm. first thing which comes to my mind is I kind of see like a combination of things which look like they could be in one of those really old books which you see oh, when you're right. uh, studying like you know old texts in Europe. The ocean. Especially. Yep. Uh, not just the ocean, but like you know, it's all of those old, um, those old um, mm-hmm. ancient creature myths. Yes. Even like you know Christian books, you often see like depictions of Satan. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, like, those those unironically right. go so fucking hard. They, they were oh, cooking yeah, they in do. the Bible they with that. <laughs> I, at, at the same fucking time, I know my own freaking nightmares when mm-hmm. I'm like, you know, not looking at this shit for a long, long time. Then yep. suddenly out of nowhere, I see something absolutely horrifying in my dreams and I go like, damn. Whiskey has her own, her, your own personal sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> No, like, I'm throwing my nightmares at my players in the end. That's, that's, that, that is the smart way of doing it. I Very once big had, brain. like, a SCP-ish. Um, essentially, what I had in my campaign was we were playing, like, a gun system uh, of yes. some tactics. Oh, fun. And um, 
what I made the world essentially had like trouble with. It was well, a world like ours. It was like historical world until essentially someone predicted an energy crisis and housing crisis and everything. And essentially, are you ready for it? What happened? A scientist began utilizing the back rooms as an energy source. For fuck's sake! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've I've had like chronicled discussions about my like distaste of where like the back rooms has gone, but I think that's a good plot device at the very least. Essentially, I just made it like a mixture of control and back rooms. That space. Mm. Oh yes, yeah. God. Psycho space. God, control was so fucking good. But, and it was had like a little bit spice stuff with like yeah. warp fuckery from yeah. 40k. Yeah. And that was essentially that weird thing which they used for energy source and that connected all kind of like, you know, subspace areas. Yeah. So the traveling was less traveling and it was more like, tell me the place which you discovered in the past you want to return mm. to. Roll me several mental check. Uh, take this much <laughs> mental health damage. And... Uh, whatever nightmare I had the last two days is going to be the way the back room smooth between this point That's and that That's really point. fun. No, I, so I don't know much about 40k, but the warp stuff is really interesting to me. I had a friend who just sat down and explained it to me one time. I, I feel like I've kind of like gone against a few stereotypes by being like a online niche anime personality who doesn't know anything about 40k, especially with being British. Honestly, it's perfectly fucking fine. Like it's uh, one of those things where like I just don't know where warp, to start. The warp can be anything you want it to be. That's the there funny part. Like it's essentially nightmare escape. It can be anything. Nightmare. And, like the lore about uh, the warp, uh, the planets which are under control of a warp creature, like Chaos Worlds. Mm. Uh, those are literally whatever the person who is the strongest being on the planet wants them to be. <laughs> so, for example, let's say that there is suddenly a really insane sister of battle which right. somehow got into warp and somehow landed on this planet and was like, you know, whole for living sane but completely insane and doesn't know it. Mm -hmm. Suddenly the entire world would look like a cathedral world, except everything would be strange and there would be like small little baby carabs which turn their heads 180 <laughs> degrees to stare at you. Of course. Man, 40k is on some shit. There's something going on there. Okay. Anyways, cryptids. Like, cryptids. Looking at it, it looks like nightmarescape creatures, yeah. essentially. And th that is true to some extent. Chat is also wondering if you are a cryptid. Um, there, there is a distinct possibility you may fall under the description of that. Interesting. So, um, you know, the, the short and fast of it is that a cryptid is an animal or some sort of creature that cryptozoologists, those, these are people who study cryptids, that exist but are with us any kind of like substantial proof of like, you know, maybe they, they've not been like pinned down on a laboratory and then gone, ah, yes, right, the chupacabra is most certainly real. Um, a lot so of something these. Something like a Volkswagen would also fall into that category. Yeah. Sightings of creatures known unknown to science. There we go. Um, you know, a lot of these exist through like you know strong emphasis on things like folklore. Um, things like the kraken might be considered some sort of cryptid. Um, you know, any kind of some sort of like nondescript beast you may have seen depicted in like maybe like old English textbooks or things where there's like sailors and they're like, oh, I saw this thing, mermaids, sirens, etc fall under a pretty good description of it. Um, there's a lot of ties between stuff like that with like ghost hunters, ufology, uh, people who study, you know, aliens, stuff like that. And they are similar to that of like Japanese yokai as well. As sometimes they make So essentially it's anything which multiple people saw and gave similar descriptions yes. for to the point where it's believed to be existed, but there is no proof of it actually mm. existing, like no corpse that got studied. Yes. It, it's why, like, how familiar are you with, like, let's say, more notable one, the Chupacabra? I know it exists. <laughs> I know a little bit about it. I've seen pictures of it. Yes, because you have a lot I of know. farmers coming forwards, and they're just all like, oh, hey, um, you know, like, my goats have just had kind of been, like, bitten bitten in the, the neck, and they've had the, the blood drained out of them. 
exactly the same way and you have multiple farmers in different parts of the country going yep this happened to me too here's my horrible fucked up dead goat so um, the Loch Ness monster would also go there yes. although it's, it's important to note that cryptids are not always violent hey that's understandable too yes I, I've got some examples of like non-violent cryptids on here too and some of them are a, a smidge amusing so what is a cryptozoologist? Um, and these are people who, you know, study beasts whose existence is disputed. Um, the term originated in, I think, specifically 1959 by a, I think he was a Scottish zoologist. Um, and we take the term from the Greek term cryptos, which means unknown. It's where we get words like cryptic and all that from. That it makes me curious. Was there ever... A creature from cryptozoology which got suddenly out of nowhere or well at some <laughs> point proven to exist um like actual proof that it got moved out of cryptozoology that's a i think there's been very few like maybe there's some sort of lizard out there we, we have an expert in chat please explain i've actually not heard of this this is where my knowledge is failing me nope <laughs> yes yes no, no. <laughs> definition of cryptozoology. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. But people were just like, yep, I saw this thing. And then eventually they went, yeah, that's the thing. So, so Okapi was actually originally a cryptozoology. Yeah, they couldn't prove it like definitively existed for a while. Until that's they could. That's really cool. Uh, yeah. I know that Okapi exist. Hmm. And I feel like stuff like that is interesting because it gives credence to a whole lot of other potential sightings. Yeah, the platypus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the, the platypus one is really oh, interesting. God. Do you know much about what happened with, like, you know, some of the original, like, platypus stuff, right? I know that when they put on a uh, secret agent head, it's only... Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. <laughs> okay, so uh, I, I believe it, it goes as follows. There was a whole bunch of um, British, like, you know, tally-ho, uh, pip-pip, expeditioners, and they go to Australia. And they find a platypus and they're like, by Jove, what in the hell is that? And and they take it back to the UK. And they're like, look at this fucked up, horrible little creature we found until they just go and found more of, they go and find more of them. And it's kind of like believed to be this like little fucked up little creature they found for a while until it's just like, no, no, these are just like native to Australia. Oh God. And they were, they were treated as like these like potentially mythical exotic animals it's like it's, it's got the bill of a duck the tail of a beaver Urgh. it's insane it's it's bizarre <sighs> i mean i can absolutely understand how a european person would just look at a platypus like in the I mean, <laughs> europeans the fear the platypus <laughs> I mean, you would just think that shit got possessed yeah, by so someone just made it up. Fucking time. Originally, they would choke taxidermies until they got live ones. So, yeah, a whole bunch of taxidermies. Look at this bizarre creature. By Jove. Oh, it's immaculate form. Da, 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 da. And then they found real ones. And they got reclassified as real animals afterwards. So that's cool. Um, I have a that's short list. Really oh, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off there. No, no, no. No problem. I just wanted to say that's really neat. Yeah. So between that, Okapis, Platypus, they are real. They are out there. So I have a list of notable cryptids, some of the more popular ones to sort of start us off. And first we have the Yeti. Um, the Yeti is is interesting. You may know it as the Abominable Snowman. I, I see that you use the art out of uh, D&D. I was D &D. wondering if you would exactly recognize this <laughs> artwork. <laughs> At the back of my mind, when I put this in the slideshow, I was like, there's a fair chance you may recognize Bro, where this artwork comes for, from. I was DMing for so long. Those things are burned into my <laughs> mind. Like, it's there whenever you read the stat block. Yeah. Um, that's crazy. I had no idea it was, like, that far into the uh, book there. It's also fucking funny because, you know, you eventually, if you see enough of the monster manual images mm. you just see that art style <laughs> <laughs> you just recognize the art style that's awesome um so these were originally sort of spotted in the himalayan mountains right um 
and they've been around there's, there's been documents uh corroborating the existence of the yeti going all the way back to i think the 16th century and pre groups that exist pre-buddhism describe the importance of like having seen a creature in the himalayan mountain range which is crazy to think about i mean when you think about it that's um absolutely ridiculous area to survive in there is yeah. not that much life there exactly and not that much food source exactly chat's also like really really going hard on the platypus stuff right now it's, it's, <laughs> we've got all sorts of platypus facts here oh yeah they are saying all kind of shit about the bill <laughs> they can detect electricity wow what yeah they can electricity oh, with their bill so their eyesight can be shit in muddy water now, now imagine, now imagine that on some distant, distant planet, in this, uh, in this universe or even this galaxy, mm -hmm. platypus might have eaten their humans and no. uh, became the trace <laughs> on their planet. <laughs> <laughs> they became sentient. Oh God! And now they have Twitter. Oh, there awful. They, they've, they've, they've devised platypus Twitter. It's the exact same. It's still really bad. It's just offered entirely by platypus. Platypi? Platypus? Platypi. 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 I'm going to go with platypi. Multiple platypus. The platypus. The platypus. Fuck off. You can't just. No, 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 no. You can't just, like, suffix ussy everything. Would you prefer to. Call it plussy or plussy. Okay, I, I think plattussy is definitely better out of those. Plapipus, that's awful. <laughs> Plapius. Plapius. Now that chat's move on to something completely no, else. No, 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 let's go back on the topic. <laughs> let's get back to the platypussy, she says. <laughs> No, oh, no, no. God. Let's, Chat let's has... go back to the Yeti. Chat's not left me alone about the Cliffussy thing, by the way. <laughs> I mean, it could be verse. It could be classy. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake, Dad. We got Genome in chat. He's joined at the best time ever. Okay. So, next up we have, yeah, the Loch Ness Monster. Oh, um, I know this exact picture. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the one picture everyone uses. I'm such a big fan of this picture. Um, we, we love a bit of Nessie uh, here. It's just become like a very, very, very nice, endearing term for this potentially, you know, prehistoric plesiosaur that's just living in the Scottish Loch Ness. Um, that you know, because it's interesting. Like Loch Ness is literally it's just Lake Ness. The lake is called Ness. Yep. Yep. The the play the, the fucking lake is called the Loch Ness. Yep, because the, the Scots have such its fun name words is for literally things. Literally, uh, the fucking uh, monster of Lake Loch Ness, <laughs> and it also has its name in Scottish. Yes, I I think it's interesting. Um, because you know a lot of interesting. Oh, sorry, a lot, a lot of like theories of it are just like, oh, it's just a plesiosaur. There's just a real life dinosaur in Scotland that's just still there, hanging around. People are still saying, uh, talking about sightings uh, of it, right? Yes, um, and the most interesting thing I found out while researching for this was that there are sightings in 7th century like scriptures that talk about the Loch Ness Monster with like similar description and everything. It, it's fascinating. Oh, yeah. The scriptures, like honestly, the Christian scriptures sometimes describe absolutely fucking wacky uh, they, they were They were in fact on some shit. <laughs> Chat is saying apparently there is a um, theory that Nessie might be a giant fucking eel. I can get down with that. That that's that's interesting. I could get down with that too. Yeah. Um. But now we move into. <laughs> I'm just imagining oh, a wait, giant eel no just like you know, peeking out its head outside of the water and going like. No. <laughs> just descending back down. I'm gonna do some trolling in a hundred years from now. <laughs> Imagining later, like you know, looking at the modern history, going like, "Lebow, oh, dude, they thought I'm a plesiosaur." <laughs> Riston, uh, Riston has an interesting theory. Um, what if it a was Russian actually submarine. I'm traveling Russian submarine? How would it get into the lake? Uh oh, that's that's a good question. 
it's, uh, the, Rus the Russians. The Russian submarines have a hard time traveling outside of the Baltic <laughs> Sea. <laughs> they had to use advanced teleportation technology, and they accidentally got it stuck in Lake Loch Ness. Lake and Ness. Now the poor crew is there, like you know, big fucking beards. Yep, they're just stuck in there. They're doing all they can to repair it from the inside over and over to not sustain hull damage. Or maybe it was a time traveling uh, Russian submarine from the future that's why it got sighted <laughs> in the seventh century because they really overshot when they were trying to kill Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Hitler, who was very much known for his proximity to the sea. And Scotland. <laughs> Hitler, who very famously loved Scotland. <laughs> oh, God. You know, this sounds like a turning point plot, like turning point uh, Red October. <laughs> oh, my fuck. Make it happen. Make it happen. <laughs> because, like... Oh god, like some of the fucking plots which I see written out online about the Nazis especially yes. is so fucking funny. Did you see that one movie that was talking about like, um, oh, they were calling it like World War II John Wick and there's someone's like, yeah. oh, that, I was, I'm very conflicted on that movie. It looks fun, but also the like, going John Wick on Nazis thing is, is an interesting marketing scheme. <laughs> It is an interesting marketing scheme, but then again, we already have BJ Blazkowicz. Yeah, baby! We love... Like, at the same time, it's like... Uh, this... Thing. Like, at one point, you go this thing again, if you get me. <laughs> yeah, we, we've done Wolfenstein. We enjoy Wolfenstein. We like you BJ. See, it, it's kind of funny, because I, I can't put my finger on it, but... It's almost like there is one more evil faction in World War II. No one ever makes a game about murdering in obscene amounts. What? What's that? Um, unit... Uh, fuck, what is it? Nope, completely forgot. 635? I, I, th I, th I think they had a red star. Like, <laughs> some, some hammer and sickle stuff. <laughs> mm, I, can't, I can't remember. Anyways. Sorry, my bad. It's what is it? Um, unit Unit Seven Three One. Where's the Unit Seven Three One yeah, horror movie? <laughs> I shouldn't be saying these things. Oh God! No people will. Immediate oh, God, demonetization. The, the, oh God! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the one I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to say it on stream the name of that unit. I think I may have already done so. I think we're okay. I mean, um, we could call it the Nanasan Ichibutai. <laughs> <laughs> the Biological and Chemical Research Unit. God. Anyways. Yeah, yeah. anyway, moving on. How did we get there from the fucking Loch Ness Monster? <laughs> I think it was the Russian submarine tangent that did yeah. that. <laughs> okay, so. Next we have a um, very, very, very interesting one we got here, right? The Mothman. The Mothman. Um, mm. So... The Mothman is more of a is a modern cryptid, or a cryptid that's only really sighted in more sort of modern days, right? Um, they're a very yeah that thing that fucking thing there. Um, they are a humanoid half moth, half you know typically described with more bird like features. It's interesting that the <laughs> chat saying I recognize it. Um, you know. Features that are described as being bird-like, moth-like, but with the stature of a human. Um, and most interestingly, uh, they have been sm primarily spotted around the Point Pleasant area of West Virginia. These sightings started on November 15th, 1966. And yeah, a lot of the time it was found that the, you know, the Mothman would appear around areas of some sort of tragedy. So there's been a lot of back and forth on... Was the Mothman to blame, or are they more of like a harbinger? That um, is an interesting one. Yeah, um, it, it's a very interesting one because there is a there was a book written in I think 1990, uh, 1977, I think it was, called The Mothman Prophecies, which was entirely about that. Um, so it's quite interesting that there's a, you know, sort of connection between that. And every year... Um, down in Point Pleasant, there's a little Mothman festival. There's a museum and everything. It, it's wonderful. Um, it's oh really boy. cute. Yeah, there's a museum. They've got there's a, a museum about them. 
Yeah, That's there's, there's so a moth. Cool. It, th there's a statue outside as well, by the way. Um, and the statue. Apparently they're doing a Mothman themed escape room down there next year. That's that's fun. Um, but they have a a statue outside the museum and it is notably cheeked, is how I'll describe it. Um I, I I've I'm hearing reports about people who will take a picture at the front and then walk around the back of it to take a picture with its behind as well. Uh people shall refer to it as the shiny hiney. The I shiny hiney. I need to get you a picture of this. That, that sounds interesting, though. Yeah, it, it's very interesting, because I feel like the Mothman is definitely one of the like more like you know notable cryptids of legend, possibly for this, you know, good guy story they have going on with things, right? The Mothman was never here to cause harm. The Mothman was here to warn people, because the Silver Bridge in West Virginia just completely collapsed. And prior to that, there were sightings of the Mothman hovering around the area, which is like corroborated by a good few people. I'm wondering if I should get the picture of the ass up on stream for people to see. I've just sent it over to you. It's a very, hey, very let just... Let me check it, let me check it. <laughs> Wait, I need to close the presentation quickly. Because... Oh, no worries, no worries. Oh, boy. That, th those are some cheeks. Those are some cheeks. Those are some cheeks. Okay, let me get this up for, like, stream real quick. Uh... Don't show your browser. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. So here's the front of it, right? We have the Mothman statue here. It's quite good. It's quite nice. And then we have the behind of it, which hopefully it doesn't accidentally save as a... Okay, cool. And then there's the behind of it, which has a notable feature very, very notable feature. <laughs> My man's cheek up. <laughs> it's just... So when, when, when are you getting uh, your modal from behind? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, okay, this is like a really like... Where is this again? This is in um, Point Pleasant, West Virginia. But no, I, I, I did make a point on my like reference sheet of having a, a, a bit of ass. Just a little bit. Ayo. It was important. It, it had to be there. But yes, it's it feels like you know, considering that your uh, that you are a Mothman, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what made you decide for Mothman? Oh god, okay. Do you, do you want like the the full big the big lore on that? I would say it depends on how much time <laughs> do we have. So. Um, I, I've got all, I've got all the time in the world right now. Um, so a lot of it is just like for myself. I've always just had like a very 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 big deep interest in cryptozoology. Um, I've always been like fascinated by it. And this is going to sound like real cringe, but I think a lot of it started with, um, have you ever played SMT? Good old Shin Megami Tensei. Um, that is a game which features... I know it exists, yes. but I, um, I didn't play it. Okay, so it is a, it, it's the thing that spawned the Persona franchise. Um, but a part of that was they have a very like eclectic cast of demons that are all characterized by different things. And the Mothman features in it. And he's like a unrelenting shithead. Um, hang on. He's, he's like literally a little guy. Um, let me send you a little dude. Someone made an edit where he's like, oh, hang on. Here you go. Here you go. I will just send you this over real quick. And after that, it was like, oh, that's really interesting. So I did like a, I had like my moment where I just sat down. And I did a lot of just like research. I was like, this is really cool. What a funny little dude. It's like, oh, they're actually a fucked up monster sort of thing. Okay, okay, sure, sure. And then I think what it was, and this is the other really, really, really cringe part, was I had like a few ideas for designs of stuff I wanted to do for like streaming, VTubing beforehand. Until eventually I was just like, okay. Like Cryptozoology, I was playing Fallout 76 at the time, which takes place in West Virginia. Um, and I was like, okay, the Mothman design in this kind of goes hard. I want to do something around that, and that's kind of how I eventually sort of settled on it. And it stuck, and I had fun with it. And the main thing I really went for was the original design I had pretty much matches the uh, like silhouette of this image here on the left I've used right now, almost one for one. That Because that was like a big thing for me. I was like, okay, if I'm going to do it, I want the silhouette to match. That needs to be the thing. That's, that's, that's the big nice. cliff off lore. I like stuff like that when 
<sighs> okay, this is like a real. This is a very personal thing. I I really really like it when VTubers streamers have avatars that are very like in touch with whatever they're pulling from, right? Oh no no okay so this is this is why I think <laughs> no no I mean, I'm just giggling at myself because it's also like you know oh god no 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 this is like I really like, like the attention to detail on like your main reference sheet like every piece of gear is accounted for and that's really fucking cool big whiskey thumbs up thank you thank you you, you are more than welcome. Uh, also, yeah, the glasses of yes. uh, Isis glasses, this was a gr great idea. I, Someone mentioned it. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. I didn't think it was particularly special when I like first got around to it, but apparently no, like pe people like it, and I think they're a good thing, and I've kind of just sort of sworn to myself that there should be some sort of eyewear or glowing eyes going on with the rest of it. It seemed like nice. the smart thing to be doing. But it is... It's just interesting, because I kind of like, I've, I've struck a nice balance between like anime boy and also fucked up monster which i guess isn't really the case right now but might be in a week's time gotcha, there's the gotcha. there's the cliff law okay cliff law yes but no I, I, the mothman is an interesting one because it's a, it's very much a case of like almost kind of like folk hero status a bit where people are like oh yeah the, the mothman was trying to warn us to make sure that as many people as possible didn't die in a horrible accident and it's kind of taken on a bit of like a harbinger role ever since when you think about it like there are creatures like that yeah, in, exactly well which exist like for example ravens yes exactly I, I, ravens are fascinating they're like they can experience malice which is really fucked up to think about like yeah. th this this bird can hate you like no 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 let's let's take a moment to like really think about that. I know I know about it I know about it. That's the funny part. I just think that's really interesting. Okay, so we also now have Bigfoot, who I I suspect you might be aware of. Oh, that one is real. Sam killed one. <laughs> <laughs> During the fucking stream, which was by the way an amazing bit. Dude had someone in a. Bigfoot costume hiding in his closet the That's entire so time he funny. was streaming and burst That's out so and then play fi uh, fight him and take off his head. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, I, I love that. That's phenomenal. I can borrow the full costume for that and have someone stuffed in his closet like that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I love stuff like that. Um. Yeah, that's like high investment. I love it. Have you seen, so this image here I've got on the left, have you ever seen the original footage that this is from? It's like... I did, I did, but we were playing okay, the big okay. game, actually. So yeah, you know, it's it's like the OG, like, shaky cam, low quality, I just saw a monster footage, and it's really funny, because this pose in particular I think is potentially iconic. Chad Bigfoot stride. the most fucking funny. <laughs> like, where is bro off to? <laughs> the fuck you're looking at? <laughs> it's like, bro, I was taking a dump. What are you looking at? <laughs> Fucking creepy <laughs> man staring at me like that. Yeah, it's bro. like, you're, you're the problem here, not him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. But what's interesting about the Bigfoot is that many um, like indigenous Native American people um, have made reference to it as far back as the 16th century. And... I think that Bigfoot especially, due to like various levels of pop culture status, is like one of the most iconic cryptids out there. Have you seen how many like American cryptid uh, like sorry, American Bigfoot hunting shows there are? There are a lot. That there's a there's a lot. I, I wanted to guess like eighty-four. Um oh god, that's okay, that's possibly highballing it a bit, but there's there's an awful okay, lot and it's just like a whole... <laughs> Okay, I don't have an exact number, but it's like a substantial amount. There's just like a subgenre of like redneck hick American television shows where they're like, well, we're gonna we're gonna catch that big foot this time, and they've stretched it out for like three to four whole seasons. They've still not quite caught him yet, but but Daryl is a hundred percent sure. Traces, yeah, Daryl's a hundred percent sure that this um these these footprints that totally weren't put here by us are absolutely one hundred percent a big foot this time. 
they're, they're, they're very amusing shows. Oh, just yeah, cause... then they will pull up, like, you know, a ball of something on the ground. <laughs> that's definitely a Bigfoot turd. Like, ah, that's it. That's it. We found it. We're gonna get that son bitch. Um, and they give it to like a pseudo scientist. Say, yeah, yep, bitch, yep. Um, that's that's very very that's... likely that Bigfoot eats this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I'm actually amazed. That there's so many shows, mm -hmm. and they can stretch it out that more that long. Yeah. Because so, what's interesting about them is a lot of the time they are just kind of like character dramas. I think is the best way I could describe them, where it's just like Cletus and Daryl are going to get into a bit of an argument about who saw what. But it's like, oh, I'm sure, man, I might be high on like painter fluid right now, and I've not slept in forty eight hours, but I'm a hundred percent sure I saw it. And Cletus comes in, and he's like, "You fucking lying, some bitch." <laughs> then there, then also put like you know Spanish telenovela in the background. <laughs> Like Sheila, I'm sure you were cheating on me <laughs> while I was hunting Bigfoot. While Sheila, I was, uh, while you I was out, I'm gonna catch Bigfoot and we will be rich again. Okay, Don't yeah. Don't abandon me with the kids. Mountain Monsters is exactly what I'm describing. It is a American cryptozoology themed reality television series. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, God. No, I, I think stuff like that's really interesting because, like, I, you know. It's a soap opera. <laughs> you know what you could do for a meme for Twitter? You yeah. could make like, you know, um you know you know those like, you know, doctrine radical or uh, form neutral form Oh yeah. Labels. You could make this kind of cryptid thing and then in the bottom right you could have uh Putin is a cryptid. <laughs> idea of just putting a boat on there. <laughs> oh, God. So what what are our two categories for that? We have like <sighs> Well form purist, form neutral and Yes. Form radical and then there is like I'm making a note of this by the way. Purist, uh, mm -hmm. doctrine neutral and doctrine radical. <laughs> I really like the idea of putting a boat in there. That's so funny. <laughs> My dad nicknamed me Sasquatch because I was hairy growing up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Jesus. Oh god. That's I feel I'm I feel really bad if you no 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 no. Yeah, no, I feel really bad if this stream is your reason for finding out that your father has been making fun of you since you were like young. That's so bad. Oh god. But no, Bigfoot is possibly a cryptid I would consider to have like the most sort of pop culture relevance. Um, important guy, funny dude. Um, really, the thing I think about a lot is the um, like the faked like GTA San Andreas hoax videos. Oh God! Where they were just like, yeah, no, I, I totally, totally spotted uh, Bigfoot in in the forest in this one area, and then they go like get in a jetpack and fly over there, which 100% just wasn't in base game. And... You you see the funniest shit to me is like you know those fake videos. Mm. That's the same energy, like you know, pictures of cryptids made in games to look like the real thing. Yes, that has the same energy as mm -hmm. the fake use of modern jet fighters dog fighting in Arma. <laughs> the <laughs> ghost of Kiev. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, you know, how for the, the, the fucking Indian news, the Indian state yes. agency. <laughs> like misreporting on armor footage. It happens every single time, and I feel kind of bad every single time it happens because I can recognize it, and I feel bad that a lot of people are being duped by like video game footage of things whenever any kind of major conflict arises. <laughs> Just imagining the fucking you know, put, put the picture of the French jet fighter <laughs> Mirage is encrypted because no one ever saw it. It might be real, it might not. It might just have really good stuff, you know. I, I, I genuinely do still think one of the funniest things is the whole like ghost of Kiev thing. Um, people were pretending that Sam Hyde was a um. Uh, famed uh, Ukrainian pilot, <laughs> calling him the Ghost of Kiev. Oh God! The Meru Haidu. <laughs> no, Ghost of Kiev is again a really nice topic mm. in so many ways. Hang on. I, and then what happened was, some American uh, politician had reported on it, 
and they'd say, and again i've got i'm gonna send you the image some american politician i think they're no possibly way. or some sort of politician no. um had responded to it like i'm glad they're keeping up the good fight i'm glad he's got a good fight godspeed and more kills samuel oh no <laughs> <laughs> Ukrainian ace pilot known as Ghost of Kiev, real name Samuel Lee Hyde, a 36-year-old identified as MiG-26 pilot, uncredited when downing six Russian jets. I just love how there's all of the fucking tags, including yes. the breaking. It's a really low quality oh, edit god. too. Oh god. It's an obvious edit too, it's so bad. Yep. You see the fucking cropped face? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna pull this one up real quick. This is just a good image. Oh, he was a congressman as well. That's really embarrassing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, um... American politicians got a little bit of a reputation in the Netherlands. Uh, would, would you like to uh, indulge we, in that without okay, it being so politically the... charged? The American politician in the Netherlands, essentially, during the big crises in Europe recently, mm -hmm. or well, recently, it's a bunch of years ago, but essentially he said publicly uh, in America and in the Netherlands from uh, when he was talking to Americans that there are no-go zones in the ah. Netherlands. Oh no. And a Dutch journalist, when there was like a press conference at the fucking American embassy, mm. they first forced themselves in there and collectively the Dutch journalists ask him to read the special plague which is in every uh, American embassy, right. which reads, um, may God hello, oh. help us, blah 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 blah, and may only honest men rule from under this roof. Oh no. Like the kind of prayer to God, and they ask him to say that prayer. Uh... And then they ask him, so there are no go zones in the Netherlands. And then he started, like, you know, lying about it. And, uh... and every single journalist, instead of asking their own questions, all of them pressed him about that. Mm. And then he tried to do the American thing. Yeah. Uh, if there are no further questions. And everyone started yelling at him, no, this is the Netherlands, you need to answer the questions, you can't just evade them. Oh, fuck, this dude. is not America, you need to answer <laughs> the questions. <laughs> they just grilled him. American politicians famed for being able to like walk around questions as much as possible. Yeah, the funny part is the Dutch just, you know, pressed him about it, and I think that dude got fully dismissed. The dude Jesus was... Christ. <laughs> oh, God. But no, I, I think that about wraps it up on Bigfoot. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But an important thing, how we we've got some insane tangents today. This is great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I find like, oh boy. Some cryptids are literally just some dude. Um, this this is a cryptid known as Ingrid Cold. Um, he's just you know commonly known as the Smiling Man. Um, do you want to guess where the nickname the Smiling Man comes from? Looking at this image, whiskey. Come on, shot in the dark. Uh, you got it's, this. It's it's definitely it's definitely his necktie. <laughs> no, it's a smile, of course. It's yes. A fucking yep. creepy smile. Um, bro, bro hangs around the West Virginian area. He was literally just some dude with a big old grin on his face that showed up a few times around like major events and things. And then, um, then afterwards, he, um, just kind of disappeared. So people were like, oh, he must be an alien. There's what this is the single drawing someone made of him after someone saw him, and that's special, like that. Uh, yeah, cryptos can just be that, some that, guy. That's it. <laughs> Hang on, chat is saying there's an entire deck archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes, I I like the danger cards a lot. Big fan of danger Suchinoko. Oh, you you definitely need to include this one in that cryptid table which what, what you is... mentioned because that would be like you know the oh, it's just, just some dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, you're right, yeah, no, 100%, 100%, that's such a good fucking idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've got a few honourable mentions as well, before we wrap up. Let's see, let's see. Not dear. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I thought you would find this very amusing. What if dear 
we're just fucked up. That that is Man, it. Um, I'm I'm just looking at this and I'm being like, you know, Cliff. Um, yeah, I'm not making this up. I'm not need, bullshitting. You need to change your graphics settings in uh, Hunter <laughs> Call of the Wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh god um not deer are interesting because a lot of these are just eyewitness accounts um of just i saw a deer and it had the face of a wolf or i saw a deer and it turned and looked directly at me with both of its beady little eyes and it's just stuff like that um no substantial proof to suggest that not deer exists but there's some idea they're kind of like fucked up shapeshifters and i think that's just kind of funny oh boy Chat is pointing out that deer are already kind of fucked up. Um, if if it wasn't obvious, these I are mean, these are Coco. photo <laughs> these are photoshops. If you weren't aware, these images oh, have been they doctored. Oh, definitely do look very much <laughs> like Photoshop. <laughs> but oh. you see, the funny part is, you know, I mean, I can see why a lot of people would think that cryptids are literally just like you know aliens. Yeah. And I think like that's what I feel like whenever people use that life form from Earth, yes. but they kind of fucked up at the finish line. I kind of I like stuff like that a lot. Intern and got their hands on it. <laughs> I, I'm a big fan of stuff like that, and I just think not deer are very amusing. Um, oh, they are amusing. <laughs> additionally, we also have oh, hang on, the Sandown Clown. Um, this this is an interesting one. Uh, this is the only British. Oh cryptid. boy! Yeah, right. This is the only British cryptid we have on this list, and it's, um... So, two kids were at a, a holiday resort with their... Uh, sorry. Two kids were on a holiday resort with their parents, and all of a sudden they started hearing, like, the sound of, like, an ambulance, like, ambulance noises, ambulance bells, all that sort of stuff. So they went off to investigate, and there's just some dude hanging around, and he's, like, just kind of sheepish, kind of meek, and oh, was God. described as being somewhere between a robot, a clown, but quite possibly also an alien. Um, the children said they hung out with him for about a half hour, uh, and then just went away, and then they never saw him again. Um, but they described him as being shy, but very friendly. And I, I love stuff like this so much. It's... And that became a cryptid? Yes. Uh, Britain famed for kind of having notably, like, shit cryptids. Um... There is so okay. We have we have the Mothman. Uh, Britain has the Owl Man. Well, you see, the funny part is with Britain. <laughs> oh no, here she goes. You can kind of claim that uh, you already proven that your <laughs> best cryptid exists. Is that so? Platypus. Oh right, yeah. I guess that's that's technically ours now. Uh, but you have stuff like uh, there are a few other British cryptids that come to mind, like the Dredge Pike. Which is just a big hairy pike that can quite possibly walk on land. That's that's scary. You scared of okay. fish? <laughs> Have you talked about the frogman yet? Whiskey, would it be fucked up to you if you were approached by a, a a humanoid frog of about five foot six tall? That that this I mean that that's very <gasps> mean of you to call the French like this. <laughs> Oh my! F I'm fucking losing it of what Grey Winds just said. The greatest <laughs> British cryptid, the Milk Snatcher. Oh, that actually exists. No, it's it's Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm petting that. That is getting uh, pinned. That's fair, so fucking to funny. To be fair, I mean, uh, Margaret Thatcher is a uh... special woman. This yeah, is okay. No, I'm, no, you know what? Woman, yeah. I have a very strong, like, you know, no discussing, like, could, like, could, like, issue political things, but I will straight up say this is an anti Margaret Thatcher zone. If you are a Thatcherite, you are not welcome here. I've got no fucking idea what she actually did for British politics. The oh, only thing which God. I know is essentially the Falklands. Uh, yeah, and we have the, the fact that she, thought, uh, she that she took part in the SAS exercise and didn't shit herself and bullets were flying around her. <laughs> that, oh, that's the two gosh. things I know about Margaret Thatcher. And I also know that I was trolling uh, Thatcher Wright, who was a D&D &D player in my groups, because I named a lovely vampire Margaret Thatcher. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> she was literally just a fucking dickhead. Like, she was oh, that's really so funny. players. She was really fucking brutal and like, you know, everything. 
but she was kind of like a dorky recurring oh, civilian, God. right? <laughs> Ding and dong! The wicked bitch is dead! I wish the bitch died 30 years ago! <laughs> Well, like, you know, I think jabs at people all the time like this. Like, I don't really care about the real thing. I don't have a strong opinion mm -hmm. because I don't feel like I'm qualified to have one. Yeah. Like, again, I'm Dutch. I can't <laughs> comment about it. I can comment about us eating our prime minister. I can I, That's That's a fun story. Politics. What happened I can there? About Sweden. Well, you see... um. The funny part is, it could have possibly been a mistake. It could have been, we accidentally ate the Prime Minister. Entirely. <laughs> no, it's more like, you know, um... Wait a second, I need to quickly look up the facts. Okay. But I, I am actually, like, fascinated by this. Um, so you see, it was Johan de Witt. Okay. Johan de Witt was the grand pensionary, uh, which was, in effect, the Prime Minister. Right. He wasn't... Like, like, he was a politician, you know, mm -hmm. in the fucking 17th century, like, 1653 wow. to 1672. Okay, so that was just when, like, anything could have happened. Yeah, pretty much. And... But... and... It was the time of the mid-17th century during the Dutch Republic, right? Right. So he was there during the Dutch Golden Age. Mm -hmm. And he was uh, elected the grand pensionary of Holland, and together with his uh, uncle, he ah. controlled the Dutch political system from about 1650 until the disaster year, the Rampiar mm -hmm. of 1672. And you see, when a golden age ends, people never <laughs> happy. <laughs> and well, well, um. It's the kind of fucking funny because he was also um, th there is also a big thing about the Dutch Republic because you see there was also the monarchist aside from he was a Republican he opposed the monarchists and the House of Orange Nassau mm -hmm. and the Orangists and he preferred the shift of power from the central government to the Regenten yes. Regenten. Uh, he wanted this uh, a lot of different things, and he also neglected the Dutch state's army. Oh, He's no. starting to sound like a modern politician, is he? <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, this, all of this, essentially, he focused mostly on the navy and completely neglected the army. Ah. And, and they well, this, this ate him? caused a lot of bad stuff in the Rampiar. Mm hmm. Uh, which followed by an, a completely effortless invasion by an alliance of England, France, and German states. Mm -hmm. And, well, he and his brother Cornelis de Witt got blamed for all of the misfortune, all of the rampiar, everything blamed on them. Christ. Uh, they were grabbed, lynched in the Hague, and their corpses were at least partially eaten by the mob. Oh. The rioters ate them. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. And no one bothered to prosecute the cannibals because, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, why would you? They've literally just fucking eaten someone. I, wow. Uh, partially, probably partially. They did not eat the. Oh, 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 oh. You thank see, goodness for that. Statement. Yeah, it was a statement. They, they weren't hungry, they just wanted to make a statement. <laughs> <laughs> That's metal That's as fuck. That's literally the entire story. That's <laughs> literally like, you know. Lynching them wasn't enough. They didn't get to kill him. They didn't get to be part of the mob that killed them for all of that, you know, golden, uh, golden age coming to an end. But we got to have a little bit of a nom. As yeah, a yeah, they, they got a little bit of a nibble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Chat saying this is the appropriate response to not funding the army. Oh, God. So... Next up, no, I you, would, you would oh. have thought that after that, the Dutch uh, prime ministers would always try to fund the military, but sadly, uh, I guess no one ever tried it again. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Sorry, I, let's continue. I, I did also want to say so I was like very, I, I don't want to say desperate, I was trying to get a, a hold of you before this stream, but I did actually make a graphic to go off on Twitter and I used the only transparent PNG I have and it looks really goofy. <laughs> okay, uh, sure, sure. Let, let me just quickly send this over to you. I was like, I need, I need transparent whiskey image, so I just made this really quickly. 
You there you go. Ask me. I did. I did ask, and you were oh. streaming. <laughs> this is fine. Yeah, this this is okay. This is fine. This is it's, fine. it's like the this only transparent whiskey image I had on hand. Also, sorry for not responding. That's no, that's fine. You were literally you were live. You were live. Fair, you were a fair. live streamer. So now we come to the part where I have some hypotheticals. Okay. okay. So let me set the scene for you real quick. You're alone in the dead of night, walking through a backwards path in Fresno County, California, when all of a sudden, Fresno Nightcrawler attack. Do you, do you like these dudes? They look like if Gondola was hyper cursed and didn't have a face. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> This is the first thing. Uh, so I I got a little bit of info here. Uh, the, these are night crawlers, right? And uh, to add to the scenario, they've descended upon you in a group of about twelve strong. There are twelve of these little guys, and they've all come for you. They're no taller than five foot, and they rush you from the tree line. How are you defending yourself, Whiskey? Okay, so the first. Oh, okay. If I were to judge, I again, I don't know California. Do, do, do you young want laws, this picture nor, again? Nor, by, nor will I ever bother figuring out California gun laws mm -hmm. until I will travel to California and yep. oh, then I will figure bomb it. California. But um, when I'm walking around, especially at night or mm -hmm. you know evening hours, I am yeah. concealed carrying at least where I live. Wow. I assume I would be able to figure out how to get a concealed carry license or, you know, um... Yeah. This is a, I, this I is a safe get assumption. A mm -hmm. um, I would pro suppose to probably pull out my gun, start slowly backing up yep. and unloading as fast as I fucking get. <laughs> Depending on how fast they are, but they look like they are probably They're, very fast. They are, they are all leg whiskey. They're all leg. They're probably very quick. They never skip leg day. <laughs> <laughs> they are on leg day 24-7. <laughs> yeah, like, honestly, I would see I can't run away. Mm -hmm. I have no idea if I could hide. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna get you. So I would say just start unloading into them as much as possible. Smart plan. Um, I don't actually have a right answer for this, but this image here is uh, someone spotted one in Poland as well. Um, They're, they're all over the place. Scary it little dudes. like the one in Poland skipped like they a bit more. <laughs> It is really muscular, but short legs. <laughs> He's done nothing but squats and squats only. <laughs> um, but no, that pretty pretty solid answer. Um, there's not much known about night crawlers outside of just like funny little images we've seen, and a lot of them just depict them kind of skitting around. Typically, a little bit aggressive would descend upon you in a pack. You would not be safe. So. Next up. So, we spoke about a little Bigfoot earlier, and now I've got a question for you. Oh boy. Do you think you can beat Bigfoot to death with a rock? No. <laughs> so I've got a bit of... I've got okay, a bit of info like... on Bigfoot here. Um, Ranges in height from 2 to 4.5 meters tall. Okay, I'm very, very tall. Okay, yeah, you're very I'm tall. I'm in pretty good physical condition. Yeah. I'm pretty competent when it comes to, you know, defending myself. I don't think I can beat Bigfoot. Yeah, yeah, not going to beat Bigfoot by yourself. Okay. Definitely not with a fucking rock. Definitely not with a rock. Like, if I found a sizable enough rock, mm -hmm. I would probably try to yeet it at the face, possibly at the neck. Also, Dante, thank you so for, much. Like, you know, I got this for my anniversary. Which are usually something you should defend. Yeah. Hope that I can delay it and then, you know, book it. Yep, that's smart plan. Smart plan. So we're not we're not going to try and beat Bigfoot with a rock? Like, what we're going to do? Don't be a fucking hero. Like... Don't be a hero. Don't try and beat Bigfoot to death with a rock. <laughs> Um, but what's interesting is a lot of um, accounts of Bigfoot have described Bigfoot as being hostile towards humans. So, you know, you've got like two, you know, two meters tall, possibly four meters tall of just like built muscle running after you. Are you going to David and Goliath this shit? It's like... Rock in his eye. Depends if you have a chest, uh, if you have a choice, if you have a choice, like... Mm -hmm. 
just aim for the soft spot if you yes. have to fight. There we go. Aim for that. Don't over penetrate like, Pickford's mech. chest. <laughs> Oh. Like, but like, you know, rock in hand, counter charging it, I don't think that's a smart plan unless you are like, you know, a dwarven iron breaker. Yeah, so we're being, we're being smart and reserved about this. Okay, okay. That one bounced. Um... That one didn't go through! <laughs> <laughs> Load armor piercing! <laughs> Um, something I do want to bring up about Bigfoot, I've just remembered right now, is that there is a theory that Bigfoot and Sasquatches, to some extent, are interdimensional travelers. Um, and you might be thinking, that's that's a bit of a stretch. Where's that come from? But the idea is, okay, we know that one that one bit of Bigfoot footage, the one from like, the one I've got the, oh, scroll back really quickly. We this one, right? This footage, yeah. Yeah. The, people believe that the reason that Bigfoot sightings are so sparse and in between is because the Earth is a nexus point for Sasquatches to travel between interdimensional doors. For real? Yes. How, how do you feel about that? I didn't know that they can <laughs> no-clip through the big <laughs> into Earth. Oh, God. But no, yeah, so... I'm sorry. No, it's but fine. like, oh god, it's, it's like, again, um... Oh, Jesus, this is like, you know, the time... How nerdy do I go about this? Oh, fuck it, go for it, whiskey. No, go like, there it. is a lot of different theories. Like, the one thing which I'm really, really interested in personally, and I read about it a lot. Again, I'm not qualified to no. talk about this. I'm go for not it. a scientist. Go for it. Basic, basic fucking knowledge of science because I'm just, you know, like a bit of science. Curious, I'm curious yeah. like that. But like, I look at the f different possible forms of uh, faster than light travel, quantum ah, mechanics, okay, uh, theoretical okay. physics, and things like that. Like the funniest shit about all of this is that at some point you kind of go like. We have very, very slight indications that physics and all of the established rules of physics might not make any sense. I, I know, I've actually heard about this, and that's really, really interesting to me. And that's always fascinating to me. Yeah. Like, for example... Like, like, what if all of this study and, like, research and stuff we've done into how the universe works is just wrong? Yeah, it's, it's like, it's always funny because, uh... Like, especially in the recent years, we, for example, are starting to find out the mind-blowing thing that like, you know, everything we knew or more like theorized about black holes and was generally yes. accepted about how physics works around true. black holes no longer fucking applies. Yeah. No, that's just fucking crazy to me, right? Yeah. Same as how we like, you know, we, we reclassify, declassify Pluto all the time. But like, the thing I'm thinking about as well is it, how much do you know about like the history of like medicine? The history of medicine this... is also fucking wacky. Okay, yeah, because this is this is what I find really interesting. Because imagine being the guy who's like got this great idea about how like you know the you know oh it's the vapors, it's the four humors, and then some dude fucking rocks up with his hoity toity microscope and goes, um, actually, yeah, there's just like little things that you can't see with your eye, and they're the reason you get really ill sometimes. And like, yeah, how would you react to that? Dudes who run around yeah. your bloodstream <laughs> and make you sick. <laughs> and then everyone just goes, huh. All right, because I imagine, like, the pushback would have been insane. Yeah, I mean, there probably was, too. I mean, when you think about it, cutting open humans was banned in yeah. Europe for the longest time. It's crazy. But that, that's only, like, 150 years ago. And like Yeah, because when you think, there was, like, you know, um, you know, the, 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 the uh, people who followed Judaism were the only ones who cut open people ah, in yes. Europe for a big, big while. <laughs> No, I do remember actually reading about this, because you had people who wanted to go cut people over, but just go over there just so they could do that and look inside the human body and see what was there, up. There is, there, there is a movie about that one. Oh no! <laughs> there is a movie about that one, I just remember, like, you know, that, yeah. <laughs> oh god. Oh man. But no, I just, I, I think stuff like that's really interesting, because like how we well, yeah, when it comes slowly... But science and pseudoscience, uh, sorry for interrupting oh, no, you again, fine, I ahead. just wanted to finish the thought. Um, it's like often there is a lot of indications it might make sense and often yeah. they go into tangents of 
let's let's go through this math just in case it works <laughs> assuming this thing exists yes so the, so for example my favorite fdl theory is the Al uh, the alcubierre drive mm -hmm. which is essentially the theory that if you have exotic if exotic particles exist mm -hmm. you could warp gravity in a oh. bubble around the spaceship Okay. And then you have a bubble of uh, light, that a uh, bubble of you know space time, which is accelerated. Inside mm. of which you have a normal spaceship, which can then travel faster than light. Fuck it, why not? And it just kind of pushes light in front of it because we already know that the light kind of behaves like that in areas where light can't go as fast as normally. Yeah, but you can push it faster. We already know that Cherenkov radiation is real from underwater experiments. Yes. And I, the thing I'm wondering is, like, what is the landscape of science going to be like in a hundred years from now? Uh, that depends if we stop beating ourselves with a rock. That is true. We just stop, like, giving ourselves the brain damage trying to do the science right now. In, in the future, AI will diagnose all of my symptoms. And it'll still be less accurate than WebMD. <laughs> I'm just imagining... AI oh, no. gives you this long, long description of all of the mental illnesses oh, and no. illnesses you have, and WebMD goes, you got the tism lol. <laughs> It's it's really it is really amusing. It's like you go into WebMD and it's just like it's the worst thing that could possibly happen any time. Slightly itchy throat. Oh no, sorry mate. That's that's terminal. And it's just all it's all like that. Like I had um, I I had norovirus recently. Well, not recently, about a month or so ago, and it just knocked me out of action for a week. And WebMD was convinced that I was just gonna die of something. Like just death. Death was coming for me that's, soon. That's oh god. That's so fucking funny. It's insane. I, I just... It makes me very, like, happy that in the UK we have a pretty reliable resource when it comes to the... To just, like, like public health services, right? We have oh, a nice God. we have a nice yeah. NHS website, and on there there's just, like, a long list of just, like, here, here's what might be wrong. Go see your GP if something's wrong. What if you feel like this way? It's, it's chill. It's not like, oh... Yeah, you're gonna die. That's it. Death. Death soon. Like I, I know, I feel like the American one ex exists to scare people into buying health insurance. That is probably what's going on there. If I were a betting man. I mean, that, that, that sounds like a very, very common thing which I hear from Americans because, like, you know, often I have my American friends asking me for health advice, and I'm like, <laughs> bro, yep. I am not qualified to do this. Why are you asking me? Well, you're my friend, and I trust you more than the doctor. Hmm. What? <laughs> wow, wow, that's fucked. I, I think the, the, the closest I have to that is I, oh god, I, I was in the Boy Scouts and I got first aid training through that. That's that's about the closest I can give to any kind of medical care. Well, I my 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 uh, you know. Oh right, right, yeah. Knowledge you... of health and things is a little bit beyond that. Yes. But... It's, it's still it's, it's... not somewhere where, like, you know, you should still go to your GP. Yep. It, it, it's a bit more than just, if someone's bleeding profusely or they've lost a leg, uh, maybe put a tonica on it. That's what I've got. I've, I've got, like, plasters and ropes and things. <laughs> it's like so, so someone's coughing. <laughs> I look at the tonica. list of injuries I'm qualified to treat. <laughs> Bro, you got shot in the foot. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I have another hypothetical, and, and, and this yeah, one's this one's very up. This is a familiar scenario for you specifically. It's a scare shoot it. No. <laughs> okay, you're doing a normal. Oh, oh boy, there we go. <laughs> and, and guess what? Hang on, no, finish reading it. Finish reading it. You are doing regular and normal whiskey things, commanding a sea vessel, when all of a sudden. Okay, so first of all, okay, let's assume a very common. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick a random vessel from the Dutch Navy. Okay, okay. I was gonna say take your pick of anything you want because that would just be amusing. But 
Do, do you think? Uh, with uh, um... that, I would go with the Dzeven Provincian class frigate. Sure. Not going to attempt to type that up to find out what that is. Uh, I can send you a link. Okay. Okay. So it's not the biggest naval vessel, right? Uh, but it's the naval vessel which every Dutch person, you know, likes. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that is a very. Oh, uh... uh, this is our quote-unquote frigate. Um, okay. It's definitely not a destroyer. No. It's definitely not a it's... similar size and armament to an Arle Burke. It's we very definitely shaped. We did not overdo it. Mm -hmm. It's a frigate. Uh, we told it to our <laughs> government to allow us to build some. <laughs> oh God. Anyways. So uh, the the kraken descends upon your your mighty frigate. What 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 do we have? What are we doing? So first of all, it's come for the um, bow. I would imagine that it that we would know about it pretty fucking early. Oh right, okay, okay. A very big blip because on the radar the has showed Spencer. up. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't say radar, more like sonar. Oh, sonar. There. Like, there we go. Like um, a lot of the modern vessels have a hull-mounted sonar, mm -hmm. and I would probably say that. Do they tend to pick up you sea see life? The funniest much? part, I feel like, in the case of a, finding a kraken that's not an immediate danger, yes, the hardest part of engaging it would be getting the permission not to fire. <laughs> it's an endangered creature. You can't do that. <laughs> but let's assume that I have a reason to think that it is, mm -hmm. um, that it is hostile. Okay, let, let's say it, it's a, it is explicitly part. attacking the vessel now. I am wondering, mm -hmm. would a would a torpedo decoy work against this? I'm just oh. wondering, would a Nixie distract it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious. This is my first thought. This somehow. is our first thought. But you see, obviously, the best way to engage it is uh, the the Mod Nine torpedo launchers. Yep. Like. You can just shove a Mark 46 down its throat. <laughs> Maybe get a vi I I would assume it attacks during a storm. Yes. So the question oh, is moody. whether or not the helicopter would be any good. <laughs> let's, let's say but, it, it, it's starting uh, to wrap say... its tentacles around the vessel and it's, it's dragging the... Fire. Fire, oh, fire. everything. Okay, that, okay. That everything at once. Fire everything. <laughs> Hope it stops grabbing us. <laughs> Slap it in the face with the decoy if you need to. Yep. This, and this is an emergency it situation. Grabbing you just all ahead full, even if we are flooding all ahead full. Because <laughs> like don't... modern vessels are fairly sturdy against like you know this kind of damage. Hopefully. Yes. Unless they are Norwegian. <laughs> and then they are made of paper. Well, uh, there was the case where a commercial vessel got rent by a Norwegian warship. Oh no! It would just did it crumple immediately. I think that it was the Norwegian vessel sinking in the end. Oh no! But like the funny <laughs> part is like you know I'm really just wondering like a crack in a gigantic sea squid. Yes. I am wondering would sonar at would a sonar ping hurt it? So I imagine you know a lot more about this. That you're very like navy naval pilled. Have there been instances of like you know? sonar pings picking up like large sea creatures well large sea creatures you will see on sonar right so like what whales i'm guessing well whales sharks dolphins oh okay i didn't think they'd like dolphins are pretty small things considered well the thing is okay cliff okay. sonar picks up torpedoes oh shit you're right yeah and they are quite they, they are dolphin sized <laughs> torpedoes are actually kind of smaller i mean bigger sometimes like Another thing is that stealth is a thing. Yes. Like, a lot of shit is trying to disguise itself mm -hmm. as a sea creature. Yeah. But, like, uh, there is also the... Oh, yeah, South American countries <laughs> ship got a uh, side trying to... Yeah. Ram a cruise, cruise liner. liner. Oh, God. <laughs> there is a lot of funny naval stories about this kind of stuff, but, like, you know, a sea creature, there is a lot of fucking question marks right. there. I'm actually really curious because now I would want to talk to a marine biologist and bother him with this. So just like silly but questions. I feel like a marine biologist wouldn't know what those, mm. you know, weapon systems and sensor systems do. But so not things mess up sea creatures from far away as well. Is that true? 
Yep, that is also true. That's did they, why did I they not like it? Wondering. I'm guessing they don't no. like it, yeah. Does like, she... there is a lot of questions there, yeah. Hmm. Just, just, just pulling up resident marine like, biologists and ask them questions like this. <laughs> yeah. Like, there is a big fucking thing. Like, it's mostly biomass, I hmm. would guess. So the thing is, if Sonar picked it up and we know it's a threat, yeah, I would say the torpedoes would be the first thing, because you see, the torpedoes are the real, like, you know... That's a, it's a deterrent, I guess. Yeah, like, lights, lightweight anti-submarine warfare torpedoes <laughs> should work against it. Or piss it off. And now it really wants to kill everyone on the boat. I mean, depends how big it is, and can we evade it? If we can't evade it, you engage it. That's yep. the logical thing you like. I do just think it's, like, very, very, very interesting that, like, um, there's a lot of... Okay, so depictions of the Kraken go back, like, years and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. It's why you get, like, in those really old images of, like, maps of the ocean and the sea, there's just, like, sea monsters around in the middle. Because everyone was just like, you can't go there. The sea monsters are going to get you. But this is also kind of like the same time period where we're just like, oh yeah, no dragons are real. Um, horror of fey and pixies and nasty goblins are too. Don't want to go out there. Might, might get snatched uh, oh, yeah. in our I mean, sleep. When you think about it, uh, when you think about it, uh, you're, you're like, you know, <laughs> uh, the, the, some, someone's fucking husband is cheating on them and ha! going to the forest to shag the neighbor. And ha! she goes like, oh, he's shagging a dryad. She bewitched him. Because <laughs> she couldn't see what woman he so was shagging. In that, the that's, like, that's actually the baseline of how of a lot of like Japanese yokai and myths surrounding those. It's it like was um, a yokai in the air. I wasn't no. I no, 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 know that, 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 that is a hundred percent how a lot of Japanese yokai exist. It's it's like fascinating. Um, but I'm a lot of it. I'm absolutely certain that a lot of like you know, when, when you hear the like you know the Japanese high school yokai like you know those like you know <clears throat> urban legends. Ah uh, yes. I'm absolutely certain that half of those were caused by some exhibitionist. Uh, I, I, quirky shit at the school. Yeah, no, that that's that is like a hundred percent true. That's how a lot of like Japanese yokai myths and things go. There's like one particular one that I can't remember the name of, in which it's just like, oh yeah, a whole bunch of men were reporting hearing like wailing women in the streets, and it was terrifying. It was like, oh no, they were just being like abused. That's oh, it's like, oh, that's great. Myth of the wailing woman. It's just domestic. It's like, wow, good job there, Japan. But then you felt oh, like. God. But then you've got like, so how much do you know about the Kappa? I know a bit about the Kappa. Okay. Do you, do you know about like the, the, the soul orb? Yep. Okay. And the, the, when you, you know, when you die and you wash up at sea, they want to like steal the soul orb from your anus directly. I heard about that. Yeah. So it's like, that's, that's why people tend to wash up with just like expanded anuses on the shore. There we go. Someone's got the exact same, the exact oh, name of it. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's it's I, this is why I really like Japanese folklore. It's just like what quirky little explanation and what funny little uh, what funny little guy is the reason for this like otherwise relatively explainable phenomenon. Like um, <laughs> what if what if I lit my candles by a windowsill and they were blown out by the morning? Ah, gotta be the candle kicker. You've got all sorts of stuff like that. It, it, it's just like mundane things that are explained really easily. It's like, nah, Yokai yeah, did it, mate. Is... Oh god, there is there is like so much in ancient European mythology mm. from those kind of stories, like especially in Nordic mythology. You Not see some naked. Of, some of those creatures. So this is actually but something I may also, ask you like about a, a little bit later on. Also, uh, sorry. Oh, uh, sorry. A lot of ahead. those natural phenomena are also explained by like you know the god mad. Yes. Yes. You, you get a lot of that. There's just like a lot of that in Japan. Like, so much of it. And you kind of have this thing where people are just like, oh yeah, modern technology has explained away various yokai compared to like, you know, J Japan likes their kitsunes and their tanukis and things, but that's just because they just have like foxes and raccoon dogs which still roam around and are real and tangible. 
that's not stopped happening. But like Kappa, no, that's just yeah. They're not out there, not trying to sink your ship. Yeah. Oh, God. I mean, Kraken is still, like one of those myths, which kind of is like you know the Loch Ness tier. Yes. The I've... funny part is like sea creatures definitely like you know. Uh, I can see a squid getting that big and then just grabbing no same the ship. It's, isn't there a statistic that's just something like um. <sighs> 80% of the ocean is unexplored because we just can't go that deep. And yeah. it's like, what's yeah, down true. there? What is actually down there? Because we have like anglerfish, we have stuff like that. We have a. Um, oh, look, my bad. We have stuff like. I love um... the ocean. <laughs> You've been a big fan of the ocean. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be. Actually, yeah, I'm not surprised. But we have stuff like. Um... But I like the surface of the ocean. I wouldn't yeah. go in a wouldn't fucking go see... bathtub. Yep. To see the horrible fucked up nightmare creatures down there. You're you're never ever getting me alive into an ocean game. <laughs> <laughs> When's the Subnautica playthrough, Whiskey? The funny part is Subnautica and Submarine games. Mm -hmm. I can get behind those because those are fucking fun. Yes. But the real but ocean. Yeah, we can do a Subnautica uh, playthrough at some point. Like uh, there we Subnautica. go. I actually already did Subnautica, but the oh funny shit, my part bad. Is do you know what was the most terrifying creature to me in what some was... I've actually not played it, but go ahead anyway. The leeches. The, the small, leech tiny leeches. Oh, leech. right, right. The fucking the spicy Yeah, leeches. stuff like that Ooh. makes me feel like really weird and uncomfortable. <laughs> There's a stargate at the bottom of the ocean, Whiskey. Okay, Luke. We, we, okay, Luke. Uh, depending on the, time, uh, the point of the timeline where we are in the stargate story, it's either... There is either a second one under right. the giant mountain, or we have that one in Egypt, or the one that the Nazis stole, <laughs> or the I... one that's in the United States in a box, or we already got the one out of the ocean out, or it's still in Antarctica, or, or... we can just steal someone else's Stargate. Back on. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm very glad that you're very passionate about this. Yeah, no, I, 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 I very much guessed. Oh god. But no, like the ocean's fucked up. Cause you know about the blobfish, right? Yeah. It, they don't look like that. They don't look like that. They look like completely different creatures. That one yeah. picture that goes around. Um, what happened was that was a um blobfish that was like dragged up from like the depths of the sea at a very high speed and it experienced immense pressure and like just transformed into a different creature. They don't, yeah. they don't normally look like that. It's fucked. Yep. Do you want to know something funny? Mm -hmm. Do you know what's my favorite fucking fish? Yes. What is your favorite fish? <laughs> no, the... What is the name of this one? It's it's the quirked up Jap... Fist. There we go. The quirked up Japanese fish. <laughs> there are some really fucking funny models people made of submarines. It's so good. Face. I saw people making torpedoes out of it. Yes, and putting them on planes. Yes! <laughs> I really fucking want to find the plushie of one and buy it, like... They're... Oh god, Hang wait on. a second, you I, know I got, I got I just the thing for you. You're gonna love this. It's a, it's a tea set. Oh, I love it. It's there so good. There you go, something in return. For fuck's sake, I'm putting this up on stream so people can see this this lovely, <laughs> this this fantastic image you've delivered to me. Yeah, 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 wow. yeah, yeah. Look, oh, that's it's really great. fucking big. <laughs> great image, Whiskey. It's got a Reddit watermark and everything. I thought the Reddit watermark <laughs> was perfect. <laughs> I just love that you still got it besides the Kraken. I <laughs> got, yeah. It's basically like we're just doing that. Look, the Kraken, the fudge Kraken. <laughs> Guys, screenshot this. <laughs> oh, God. We uh, are reaching whole life levels there. Yep. All right, I'm going to make the... The Kraken and it's the fucking... Oh, no. Vestan mythology. Oh, so so this guy, uh, Kriftsan, Kriftsan. <laughs> oh god, I love this little dude. Funny guy. I think I have possibly one more thing to do with yeah, let's, the, 
the funny it's quacked up. No, 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 no. This is this is quacked up fish link. But yeah, like a lot of the fucking theoretical defense against the creature is what would work. Because there is like a list of things which you would try. But the funny part with the Kraken is uh, really like, you know, the first thought is mm. what is the ROE? Are we allowed to attack it? Are we allowed? But like, you know, if it's visibly a threat and you are allowed to attack it under assumption that you are allowed to attack. Okay, can I ask why you would not be allowed to attack a Kraken? What is the rationale there? Is it like endangered species kind of thing? I would assume the endangered species kind of thing because you see gigantic squids are probably ancient and... Right, right. Uh, you would get yelled at. You okay. would definitely get yelled at. Like, I can tell you 100% that it would like, you know, the... You're getting a bollocking if yeah, you fire like, first... unauthorized upon the Kraken. Yeah. Like, honestly, my first thought would be, can we scare it off with the sonar? Yep. Like, give it, give it a little boop, thing. and it goes, Wah! Squid noises. Yeah. We can Ugh. scurry back down. <laughs> it's possible it would Ow. get, like, more pissed off, but I assume that it's already pissed off and we are beyond, like, yeah, trying let, to Yeah, let's assume it. that the sonar pings are what's pissed it off. Yeah. That's... Another thing is, like... Sea creatures are not that... F Depends on the sea creature, but the thing is, a ship can go 30 knots. Yes. 30 knots? Uh, Grad, like... thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. 33 kilometers an hour? Hmm. No, 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 that's 80 knots. 80 knots is 33. 56 kilometers an hour. Holy moly. 35 mph hmm. miles per hour. So the ships are not slow, and sea no. creatures need to work against the water pressure. Hmm. That's good. Good thinking here. Good thinking. I'm liking that rationale. This. I'm glad this is the one we put the most thought in because out of all of these, I was like, this is the most whiskey core one I've got. It's about boats. Yeah. If you also it's about wanted to sea scare life. away the kraken, maybe you could detonate a torpedo in front of it. Yes, and it's gonna go <laughs> and yeah. fuck off. Hopefully. Like oh, you can see God. me, like, you know, for example, like, on the fucking ground, an absolute menace immediately resorts to <laughs> shooting each one of those creatures. <laughs> the sea creature, hmm, how do we avoid killing this thing to not get yelled at by the government? If the government found out of this, they'd be very, very, very upset that we killed their top secret weapon. Yeah, like, the Americans wouldn't be happy that we killed their specially created squid for sinking <laughs> Russian submarines. <laughs> That's a conspiracy I can buy into. That's good. I like that. I'm just imagining the hunt for Red October and it's just a Cthulhu cover. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. So I do, I do have another funny. one. I have, I have one last creature. Okay, let's see. Everything is calm. Everything is tranquil. Wrong! Thunderbird attack! It's a great big bird. It's a huge bird. It's it's like a fifteen foot tall bird, and it's it's swooping down from above you, and it's it's coming to pick you up and drag you off the ground. What what are we doing? Well, first of all, I would probably try to get next to a tree to prevent it from maneuvering. Yes, because like you know, again, it it takes a lot of fucking space with its wings. That's true. It's you're probably gonna hear it to some extent, maybe, possibly, unless you're like not observant. But let's assume it is. It's bearing down on you. It's it's fixing like, to oh pick no, you up Cliff off the ground. Oh no! Cliff can't hear the gigantic bird. <laughs> he had the earphone in his <laughs> <high> ears. <laughs> <laughs> but like my immediate plan mm -hmm. would probably be getting somewhere if it's within like sprinting distance. Yeah. Where it can't grab me. It's very smart, very smart. And the second choice would, as always, second for uh, second verse, save us the first, shoot it, mm -hmm. shoot its wings, probably. There we go. If it can't fly, it can't catch me. There we go. Smart, smart. Whiskey has been in this this situation beforehand. Uh, reason I bring up this situation specifically is because in 1977 there was an account of a uh, two young boys playing in a field together when one of them was reportedly carried off 30 feet into the sky by a thunderbird and then dropped and caught by his brother. 
caught. Yes. M make of that oh. what you wish. Because, yeah, I think if you're like a young boy and you're being dropped 30 foot, you're probably not going to do too well. I don't think that even being caught would save you, or like yeah. it would injure the other boy too. <laughs> yeah, you're probably in a, a world of hurt if you're being dropped 30 foot from anywhere. Because that's, that's not nothing. That's like... What's that in meters for us I mean, I'm, Europeans? I I'm six foot tall. Oh wow, you're a tall so foot. So like... Uh, well, I'm six foot one, so... Ah! Oh. Okay. I'm not beating the Mandler allegations. I'm not. I'm an inch shorter. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> but yeah, that's like 185 centimeters. So I'm imagining one extra foot for. Um, yeah, there you like go. Seven foot would be like two meters. Mm -hmm. 30 foot, that's like six meters. And six, seven, eight. Like eight meters, eight to ten meters. Yeah, that's that's not nothing. Wow. Ten meters is like two story drop. Yeah, that, that's yeah. Someone catching you from story. that is is gonna be rough. Like even if someone caught you and slowed down your fall, I feel like there would be a lot of injury. Honestly, my assumption with those two, mm -hmm. one of them was a retard and was climbing from a tree and trying <laughs> to explain the fact both of them are hurt. Yeah, I heard a little story on the playground. Mom! It's the Thunderbird! The Thunderbird dropped me and I, I was being carried off! And... It's, it's like like all of those amateur historians slipping on an artillery shell. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining, no, that was not an uh, artillery shell. I was walking on the beach and a kappa tried to steal <laughs> my... My <laughs> anus <laughs> orb. What's interesting as well about the Thunderbird is not only have they been reported in like you know parts of Native American history, but also Canadian history, which is interesting because those groups don't really interact much. Make of that what you will. I mean, I it typically like... there's just a lot of reports of just a great big fucking bird, and you've got guys who are like, yep, yeah, no, I hunted one, I hunted one, hunted a great big or uh, a great big bird, and me, me and my bro me and my brother, we caught it. And it's just like an albatross or something. Because they, they can get pretty big too. Yeah, some birds can be very, very fucking big. Mm. Yeah. Uh, another thing is, like, I'd imagine that person panicking and seeing the bird becoming rapidly bigger than it just yes. sees itself at them. I'd imagine it would, they would perceive it and remember it as way bigger. Yeah. And sometimes you do get stuff like that. You see the funny story? This is gonna be a funny whiskey story. Like you got a funny whiskey story, but a real rib tick oh, oh, coming horror, up. Horror those uh, boxes, which like old people store sugar cubes in. Called. Uh... It has like a specific name. Oh god, I I know what you're talking about, but I don't know the name either. Hang on. Oh god. But like you see, my grandmother had a one made out of like you know um carved glass, not carved. Oh wow. Um, you know, really fancy one. Yeah. And I always remembered it as something absolutely gigantic. Mm. I always remembered it and had the impression it was gigantic and completely <laughs> full. Like, absolutely fucking massive. You did you like, hang on, did you like eating individual sugar cubes? Yes. Yeah, baby! <laughs> well, like, I remembered it as fucking massive and then years later... I see it again at my grandmother's place, and it's tiny. Yep. Or not tiny, it's still big, but it's not, like, massive, like, mm -hmm. I remember it. Like, I remember it was imposant, it was, like, Eiffel Tower big, like, wow. it was massive. Not, not like, Eiffel Tower big, but it was really, really fucking huge. Then I look at it, and it's kind of normal. Yeah. And I do feel like you get a lot of stuff like that, where people just tend to misremember things or think they were a lot bigger than they were. It's it's interesting. I thought like you you sometimes get this with stories of like various creatures or things that people may have encountered, especially stuff with like the Thunderbird, where it's sent like ostensibly all the Thunderbird is is a great big bird, just a big bird. <laughs> I'd imagine that like if someone goes into the nature, mm -hmm. they see a huge fucking bird. Yeah, they don't know what it is, 
and years later when they are bigger and they already know what the proper bird is supposed to look like and someone's talking about seeing a thunderbird and they will be like yeah i saw one too when i was young because <laughs> they don't know what type of bird it was but they know birds much smaller now so I'm reading from a Wikipedia page. Some tales tell of enormous eagles strong enough to carry whales back to their nests. And that's where some of this might have been based out of. People were just like, oh, there must be a bird that's big enough to do all of that. There must surely been. Reportedly, several eyewitnesses had seen attacks take place. The birds were described having a white ring around their neck, four and a half foot body, with each ring reportedly four feet long. A six-inch hooked bill, three front claws, one back claw, and large black body. That's pretty much what we have here. So uh, it's a big vulture. It's a big vulture. I've, I've got an image of um, a prehistoric vulture next to a human being. For size reference. Let's see. There we go. Look at that. Great big bird. God bless whoever took the measurements. Yeah, they were they were being very precise with that. I know, it's just like stuff like that's really interesting I'm to me. Like, like hot uh, habitat and just pulls I, out. The yeah, he pulls out his little start. notepad and reads all of it off, like exact, like word for word. Yeah, then it gives him a thumbs up, and now it gives me <laughs> ten seconds to hide <laughs> before you start chasing me, mate. Cheers. <laughs> Uh, that sounds like a Scooby Dooby Doo scenario. Yeah, we, we need to drum up a fake story to get more people interested in our very niche part of industry again. Ah, uh, Big Bird. I love stuff like this. Oh, gosh. Okay. So, that wraps it up for hypotheticals. However, um, here's what I wanted to ask you specifically about any interesting parts of, like, Dutch folklore or mythology or potential creatures that exist within that that come to your mind immediately. You see, the funny part to me is like, you know, I most of the folklore and the history which I know is mostly just real history and not that much like, you know, folklore and yeah. mythology. But the thing is, I feel like mainland European mythology is very much more often than rare creatures aside from maybe you know the german wolpertinger yeah which is really fucking funny to me <laughs> wait a second I, oh you oh, like this this is what fucking funny i'm ready there i know there is definitely i know that there is definitely a vtuber based on this what's up again oh that's a Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, Wolpertinga. I'm aware of these. These are really fun. I just like they're just like. Okay, my favorite thing about like old mythological oh, wait a beings. You will love. You will love one that's like you know. I believe this is one of the pictures on Wikipedia, which I fucking I'm saved ready. because this one is just fucking hilarious. I think chat or some members of chat are familiar <laughs> with the Wolpertinga. There we go. Let's have a gander. <laughs> that's like a really bad taxidermy. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! What the fuck? That's so bad. Oh my god! What I love about this the most is it's just like. Uh... <laughs> it looks so surprised. Oh gosh. This one looks so fucking surprised. Yeah. It's like, yo, oh, you caught me as I stepped out the shower, you fuckhead. <laughs> <laughs> I just love how, like, you know, the more modern pictures of them. But you see, there is so many taxidermies, like, you know, the really... Yeah. Like, this is the one which has, like, you know, the most uh, taxidermies because they are, like, popular in pubs and shit. Oh, right, yeah. See... That, so that's something that never really made it over here, is we don't tend to have a big kind of, like, taxidermy in pub culture here. Too much. But I know, like, you know, Central Europe likes that a lot for some reason or another. Yeah. Over I mean, here, do you know what it is over here, Whiskey? We you get, like, it? we get mounted guns over here. It's a lot of the time it's just decommissioned, like, brown bass rifles and things like that. 
like those filled with lead or like you know with metal part into the mechanism yep. so that they can never shoot again and yep. see the, the walls. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking sad. I I actually have one um just sitting in my room, and I'm I'm quite happy with it. Every now and then I just kind of like cradle it a little bit and operate the action as much as I can. It's it's well, it's it's as so much like as I'm allowed. <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna go I'll pick it up right now. Is, um... One yeah, no problem. Don't Entertain chat. Back. I'll be back. Okay, chat. What do you want to say? <laughs> Quickly, uh, pull up his hair and play tic tac toe on his face. His emotional support rifle. Yeah, that kind of is accurate. This is what folks thought platypus were? Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Oh, I'm going to ignore that one, Duke Moose, and you know fucking okay, hello, why. hello, I'm back. I've got my emotional Wait, support back. rifle. Can I'm you gonna... quickly look at the word dingus, uh, I mean, which Moose said, and uh, ban it in chat? <laughs> dingus. Is, is dingus a prohibited word in whiskey yes. chat? Oh, wait, wait, hang on. Can I play this into the microphone? Will uh, it pick up? It's kind of funny because you see, it, that word, it was fine the first, let's say, 100 times. Let's say that the first 100 <laughs> times it was fine. Now it's just. Now we're not allowed dingus anymore. No, now it's just annoying. Oh, it's annoying. It has two meanings. Is one of them, like, secretly giga rude? There is multiple root meanings for oh, this. No. One. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Believe her a bit too much. Oh dear. Dingus permission revoked. More like revoked. it's pissing me off rather it's than like your colleague. <laughs> is that picking up, by the way? Uh, is what picking up? Hang on, if I. Dip... No, not at all. Fuck. Are you playing with the action and trying I, I to am. make action stuff? I am. I am. Aww. I'm doing that right now. Hang on, I'll, I'll turn off noise suppression real quick. There we go. Actually, I'm gonna turn it off on street. Actually, you know what? You'll probably get it now. Bye. Yeah, no, I heard it. It's ah, oh, lovely little it's thing. It's very, very light. It's all it does. It's because <laughs> I it's, what I've got specifically. This was a pub ornament beforehand, and the pub went out of business, oh, and they were nice. auctioning everything off. And I was like, for twenty quid, I'll have that. Oh God. <laughs> Damn, you're gonna hate the story about how I got my luga. Oh no, you didn't like actually go back in time to kill a Nazi officer, did you? Damn, you got me now. <laughs> uh, but my cover story is uh, I went to a flea market. Wow. There was a dude who had just like, you know, a Luger among the things he was selling, and I was like, how much do you want for this? And he went like, I don't know. Oh no! <laughs> And I just went right there and bought him a six, you know, uh, he got a six pack out of that. That's crazy. I got the Luger, because you see, I'm pretty sure the dude thought it was a replica. Oh, it was, it was a real deal in the end. Like, uh, do you know why he thought it was a replica? Not a clue. The string in the bag was broken. Oh, was come it. on. Come on. I mean, I'm, I'm happy for you, but damn, dude got got. I'm just like, you know, every single time I tell this story, someone in chat is like, Why you? Why not me? <laughs> Why not me? me? <laughs> oh, God. I'm realizing now this does actually also come with a nice... It's got, like, the original ramrod on it and everything. Ayo, nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm popping it down. It. Oh, hey, it goes all the way down. you can go and kill people with, the, uh, with this one. Uh, you just need a bayonet. <laughs> Oh, actually, shit, if I drop that too far in, it's going to go all the way down the barrel. Right, pull it back up. Cliff lost his ramrod. No! Anything but my <laughs> ramrod! There it goes. Okay, I'm going to go pop this away now. It sits in the corner of my room. One moment. Also, Skelly Jelly Man, uh, I registered it as a grandfathered gun afterwards. Smart. So it's legal. <laughs> Quote unquote, grandfathered. There is a lot of stuff which got quote unquote grandfathered here. Which to me is always the most fucking funny. Ah, yeah, the grandfathered FAL. Ah, yeah, he's playing with his gun. Let him be. 
Let him play with his ramrod. I'm back. I'm done playing with my ramrod. Okay. Was it fun? <laughs> it, it was. It was an exhilarating experience. <laughs> but yeah, when it comes to those, like... I would say that... Should we get rid of the water tango for now? The is like... Like the first thing which comes to my mind is literally the Volper, uh, the Volper thing, uh, even it, it's though fun. that's like not that local. It's funny. It's and the funny. funny part, the reason why I remember this one so well is I've seen them in pubs. Yes. Okay, no, that makes sense, actually. Uh, no, because, yeah, no, that makes total sense. I think the closest we also get to that is like maybe like taxidermied heads and stuff from like pithy expeditionary dudes who are like, oh, I traveled to North Africa and I slayed a feral beast. It's like a tiger head or something. I yeah. think they've I think they've stopped doing those now for fairly obvious reasons. But yeah, then then like, you know, um the Dutch folklore is very much similar with like, you know, the European folklore. So mm. like, you know, dwarves, goblins. There we go. Uh an uh the Anhihon. Uh, ah. The basilisk. Uh, then there is a. I think dragons there is, there is, there are an like, interesting you know, one. Uh, something like a halder, a haldra, like Scandinavian folklore, folklore stuff. That's cool. I think like dragons on the whole are an interesting one because like culturally, a lot of like. Oh, the jar pisser! The jar pisser! The jar pisser! Wait a second, I'm gonna send you a So I'm reading really off of a, the Holdra right now. A seductive forest spirit from, from Norse mythology. Just look up the jar pisser there. The jar pisser. Oh my god. I... It's a historical figure from the city of Tilburg uh, who collects his urine in a jar from uh, for that's, the ammonia. That's phenomenal. Love that. Love that. Phenomenal. <laughs> Thank you for that whiskey. Jar pisser. It's, it's, it's fucking funny because that's actual Dutch mythology, <laughs> and it's from that one city of Tilburg. See if there's any like. I'm seeing if there's any like depiction of it. Oh, there's a fucking jar pisser statue. Yep. Dude, he's like a tiny little old man. Yep. I'm I'm putting this one up. This is I'm gonna be honest. This is way more interesting than like anything I've covered here today. <laughs> I love this. That's great. The jar pisser. <laughs> Chat's loving the jar pisser. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like, you know, the Dutch folklore is like, you know, also very much a people folklore because, again, it's a small country. Yeah. It's like, we, we've got dragons over here, we've got, like, fae, we've got, like, stories about, like, how the corgis as an animal exist so they can be ridden by fairies and stuff, and then in fucking the Netherlands? We have. Oh, we also got the Flying Dutchman. Of oh yeah, shit. Sure. Okay, yeah. No, you know what? Props for that. But you also have the jar pisser. Yeah, we also <laughs> got the jar pisser. What do you do, bro? Well, I piss in jars. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Like legendary people. When I look at legendary people list of Dutch mythology, oh no! I see the Zwarte Pit here. <laughs> Is the is the nice dude who goes with uh, Saint Nicholas and we cannot talk about his skin color. Ah, uh, yes, yes, okay. I'm gonna send you this as well okay, about um whipping Tom because we have our own few like just little folk dudes who do things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm the... thinking of legendary creatures, but it's like you know dwarves, gnomes, goblins. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. If you want to go on a tangent about just interesting folk dudes, I'm way more than happy to hear yeah, about yeah. that. The jar pisser has captivated me. Oh, there is the Boo Man. The Boo the Man. Boo man. The boo man. Like, literally the Boogie Man. <laughs> like, the Boogie Man is a thing, and that's mm -hmm. a creature, apparently, according to this. So I let's like see. that. Uh, in the late 1600s, London was plagued by a sexual attacker dubbed the Whipping Tom, who would spank his victims with his hands, <laughs> sometimes a rod, and shout, Spanko, before running away. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? I love it. Love it. Real life that's cryptid. Like, that's literally just a modern Japanese dude. It's a guy in the 1600s. Spanko! <laughs> oh god. Big... Oh, there is also like you know a lot of the um, like um, the light elves, the light elves, the light uh, elves. from Nordic mythology. 
Okay. Which are probably just swamp lights, actually. But the, the painting which depicts them. Is I'm, I'm really interested fucking, to see this. Uh... Oh, oh, right, 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 oh, right, right. Another right. thing is uh, we got the. Okay, I'm going to say this one's name not in Dutch because okay, that, we cannot say the, that one. People would, people would get it wrong. Yeah. But there is the Nixie. Oh, which is the water okay. spirit. The yes. thing is, in Dutch, it's pronounced. Go um, ahead, let's hear it. I'm gonna write it in the chat. <laughs> is, is this for me to pronounce? Uh, do, do, do you, you need... want to pronounce do... it? Oh no! Oh, no you got no, fucking no, auto. No, you got no, auto no. <laughs> 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 I I need to screenshot this. So this is like the worst thing to have out of context. I'm, t oh, no. I'm sending this one over to you. Oh god. Cliff. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, is... <laughs> this one's multi-layered. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Uh, there is there is also a stiff, mm -hmm. which is an elf who invents starch. Stiffed. Stiff. Stiff. It's literally just written as stiff. Stiff. Like elves and goblins and oh, elves right, right. and their antics. Like elves are little guys. In German mythology, elves are like little guys and they don't always have to be. Like elves and dwarves. The funny mm -hmm. part is dwarves are like, you know, the more based elves essentially yes. in Germanic mythology. They they do a little bit of rock and stone from time to time. But like you know, elves are like you know the tiny ones so yep. which are fucking mischievous. They are essentially like those. Yeah. I'm I'm like fascinated by stuff like this, and that someday some guy called Tolkien just sits down and he goes, "Here's my take on all of that," and that's just been the more like culturally prevalent representation of these things for ages now. Yeah, yeah, that's the funny part. Like you know, gob uh fucking Tolkien just changed all of that. Yep. Oh, oh we also got a class fuck, which is the uh, Sandman. Oh no no, that, this this sounds good. Dutch. Is this is this big sleepy man? Or is this? Then, oh yeah, this is fucking funny to me too. Like you know how there is the goddess Mara in um, fucking Skyrim, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, Mara in Scandinavian countries is a malignant female wraith who causes nightmares. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that's also fucking funny. At this point, I'm just, like, kind of tempted for you to throw, like, bizarrely odd names with hard pronunciation to me so that I can be laughed at for getting them wrong, because I'm looking at the link you sent me with dark and light elves, and I don't want to give it a go, because I feel like I'm going to embarrass myself. Okay, try to pronounce this one. Oh, this feels like a trap. Kabota? Kabota? Kabautra. Okay. Kabautra. That's, that's fun. Big fan of that. What is this? Those are the light elves. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, God, this, no, this is embarrassing now. Oh, do, do I embarrass... What? Walishen? Okay, okay. I'm starting to like get a basis of how like this language works now. No, I will send you something that goes on completely different. Oh no. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um I'm ready. Oh yeah, then there is the Waterwolf, which is funny because um Waterwolf, you would expect a fucking wolf, which mm -hmm. is somehow connected to water. Yeah, or dog or something. Wrong is animiz uh, animization of uh, rough waves at the sea. Right. Okay. No, that that's that's interesting. I kind of like that. It's the essentially a uh, butterwolf is essentially an um, animization of the threat of water to the land. Yeah. Because rough waves, which were a constant threat to low country, was given the nickname butterwolf. No, that makes sense. And slachtigen waterwolf is also like it, water, water. No, I get it. That makes sense. Uh, father would be father. Ah. It's not written the same way. Hmm. 
How is that? But like, written? I also feel like aside from like you know the gnomes, goblins, and traditional fucking. Uh, it's it's literally written water wolf. <laughs> Oh, we also got the mocking water spirit, which was invented by adults to keep children safely away from the water. Oh no, I I see I like things like this where it's just like things we made up to stop children doing stupid shit. Oh you you, you don't wanna go there, these these this creature, etc. will get you. Just gonna grab you and fucking waterboard you. Yep, you will die. Death. <laughs> and then you like look at the fictions of this one, it's so wacky because it's like, you know, so widespread. Mm. And I know that like literally one of the big depictions of this one, which you then you will Google it now, like Oh yeah, it's band. just a I, I think I've got the one. I'm it's gonna... a metal band. Oh, okay, no, I'm looking at something else. I I, I got... just find it fucking funny that the metal band named themselves after the thing made to spook children. I got this image up. Oh yeah, this thing too. It looks very funky. <laughs> I oh, so something I found out after I started streaming is that I share my name with a rock band, which makes it really just annoying if you try searching me on Google. I didn't know that actually. I see. I only found this out after I started streaming. It's like the it's, it's the subtitle of a Le band Paca release. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, it's it's just an individual song by a band, which is like sure, okay. But if you scroll down a bit, eventually you, you find me. To... Yeah, yeah, you find eventually you. But <laughs> you know what? Imagine eventually when you will grow way, way larger. Oh, yeah. That band is gonna be really pissed off. No, yeah, who's this fucking twink adjacent anime boy? And what is he doing in our search results? <laughs> you see, the funny part is once you will get a little bit more powerful, and it's gonna be like mixed, it will look like it belongs together because you still have <laughs> the metal slash horror team. Oh, you. yeah. I mean, the thing is, so they, they published this song like in the, you... the 1990s, and I don't think they're even operational as a band anymore. Which is, like, the most fucked up thing. You see, the funny part is, I'm just looking down, and I just see your Clifford MP7A2 skin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And under that, <sighs> there is, like, you know, their band logo. <laughs> and it looks like it belongs together. That's so cool. Just look at this. That's really fucking cool. I'm putting that up on stream real quick. That's fun. That's cool. That's so fucking cool, dude. Big fan. <laughs> it just looks like it's supposed to be there, like, you know. I, I did find something similar when I was looking up your username recently, but there is a um, website called The Whiskey Project. It's... I also found only after, you know, starting. Oh, right, right. Is it? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Everyone's really bad at this. You see, the funny part is if I was starting over, I would probably adjust things, but you see, I find it kind of funny that I got to the size where, you know, the first thing which you find when yeah. searching Whiskey Project is actually me. And it's it's like this like, really you know, interesting was... mix of like everything else, and then just like anime gold interspersed in between every now and then a good few boats, <laughs> drinks, it's like boats, drinks, and anime girls. <laughs> At its core, it is very you, even if not yeah, directly I know. you. It's not on purpose, but it's really fucking me. That's so fucking cool. Oh gosh. <sighs> okay, I am getting a little bit tired, e and I know you were streaming for like four to five hours beforehand. Yeah, five hours. Oh uh, god, okay. Now is probably a good time to consider wrapping stuff up. Yeah, I start early tomorrow too. Yeah, so I, I don't want to keep you for funny. too long. I do have a little bit of a sentimental bit, if you don't mind. Oh, go for it, go for it. Um, So I think we started talking in like March or something, and then have like semi like infrequent contact from there. And I think we had a short conversation in like June or July time. And <sighs> okay, I was at a bit of a crossroads in that time where I was like, I don't really know if I want to continue streaming. And you were a very, very nice and supportive person during that time. And I think you were very ill at the time. And you took the time to say some nice stuff. And I don't know, 
felt good, man. It was nice to hear, and it kind of, like, I I'm thankful for that, because it gave me, like, the resolve to, like, keep on doing stuff with this, right? I think everyone has that Aww. point where they're just like, damn, I don't know if streaming's for me, man. I kind of don't know if I want to give up. And, I don't know. You're, you're a good person, Whiskey, and I'm happy to call you my friend. Oh, damn, you're ruining my image there we go. online. I it's know, I up, know. Bro. The stoic tomboy bit is going to go away now. Horrible, horrible. I thought that people would think about me as a war criminal now. <laughs> I could reveal like I'm nice to people sometimes. Damn. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm gonna need to go and like, you know, uh, bombard a town or something. <laughs> uh, but no, I don't. I'm sure there's a lot of other people who would say the same, but I uh, know. I appreciate you being a presence in my life, and it's pretty cool. Aww. And yeah. A little round of applause hey, there. Um, also, however, yeah, Aiko, I know that I could be a war criminal and have friends, but you see, the bar for war criminal uh, war crimes is getting like you know pushed up by recent years. The the, the... oh no, God, you're not. <laughs> Ignore, disregard, disregard. <laughs> abort, abort, abort. Oh God. Um, however, I, I do despair for what I have on. Since we are wrapping up, do you have anything coming up soon that you would like to share with the crowd? I will say that there is going to be a giveaway of the plushies. Oh, you, you mean going to be where, where could you where could you buy or fund these plushies, Whiskey? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I'm not sure if um, it's announced yet, but there might be an extension. Let's of the fucking go. Because apparently we very much surprised um, the website. So Makeship. I was looking the, when I was when I got to go buy mine on Makeship. I was checking out like established brands that were doing Makeship campaigns for their plushies, right? And the 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 Gremlin plushie is like was doing miles better than them. Oh uh, my yeah! I I got my little um funny badge for supporting this. A hey, nice. But no, plushies cool. All the cool kids are buying them. I'm, I'm I'm really really happy about that. Like it's already I'm so surprised. I was thought I thought that it would be like I would struggle to reach two hundred and I would yeah. be happy to reach two hundred and be done with it. It was like less than forty eight hours or something. Oh right now it's uh five Oh no, I meant like them being funded. Hours. Oh yeah, it was less than forty eight hours. It was like twenty three hours roughly. Holy moly. That's good. Less than 24. That's fucking crazy. I'm looking forward to soaking mine in milk and throwing it against the wall. You see, this is going to once be an origin to the next creature of cryptozoology. <laughs> haunted whiskey plush. <laughs> the haunted whiskey plush, you see, that was the bit. The haunted plushies, the possessed haunted plushies. There's a little that bit of your soul in each and every one. That is, that is literally what I went for That's when great. I was doing the whiskey plushie launch. I like that it comes with a gat as well. Yeah. Hang on, let me get it. It's a little plushy gat. <laughs> it's so cute. Hang on, I want to put a picture up for those who may not be familiar with it. Look at that! And you're saying you can buy these at makeshift.com forward slash products yeah. forward slash tactical hyphen gremlin hyphen whiskey? Hyman hyphen, fuck. What the fuck? No, 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 genuine slip up, not hyphen, 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 hyphen. You, you see, the very, very fucking bad part of you doing this kind of typo is the fact that you have blood splattered all over your, like, you know, setup. Oh, don't worry, that can change, like, very quickly. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did get sure. I, I have cool things and stuff on this model. It's, like, very That's robust really cool. and does neat things. But you see the part that the fact that now you have the blood in your mouth is even worse. <laughs> okay, the tongue. It, it's, it's the tongue too much. <laughs> it's my hove scaring toggle. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, oh god. Uh, I'm just imagining like you know Cliff talking to a uh, to a random British hove being like. <laughs> Hey, I'm pretty good. Uh, Excuse you, mate. Like, bad, and then, like, what you know, that bad. tongue do? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Oh god. Hang on, let me make a look. I want to make a little thing for the plushie real quick. Uh... I 
actually got a little. Wait a second, I can do this if. Uh, let me check. There we go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, wait a second, can I do this? Will this appear? What are you trying for? Trying to put one on my head. Oh. <gasps> yeah, baby! There it is. There we go. Brilliant. Fantastic. I can set it. Oh, it looks so good with the witch outfit, too. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is the... Oh, my God. Hang on. <laughs> Could you make it really big real quick? The plushie? Yes. Pop it, like, next to you, like it's your daughter. Holy shit! <laughs> Don't talk to me or my daughter ever again! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. That's so good. And I'm, I'm, I'm very happy for you with the whole plushie launch. It's, it's yeah. been a resounding success. And I'm, I'm looking forward to receiving mine in, what, in February, I think? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, first, the campaign will need to end, so that's gonna get slightly prolonged, but I feel like it's still gonna arrive on time, because I was... Lovely. Oh god, so like, you know, this is a funny story, because like, you know, when they were sending me the prototype, I expected it to arrive in like, what, two weeks, something? Yeah. It How was quick was it? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> that's I nuts. was like, huh? Mm -hmm. It oh, was god. nuts, yeah. Um... Did you have anything else coming up that people should be aware of? I think that's about it. I will announce like a giveaway event uh, where I will give away seven, uh, seven of those little gremlins. Loved seven. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Sure. Awesome. And well, that will be announced. Yay! Keep an eye out for that. Everyone deserves a plant camera. Is that wiggling its eyebrows? Yeah, it's actually Jesus. really good at tracking my eyebrows. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's really good. If I make it bigger than Cliff. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Does it say Pog on the arm? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, no. No, no, it's not saying Pog. It was supposed to be uh, my blood group. <laughs> ah, right, okay. I thought that's what it was. I thought they'd have been changed to Pog. <laughs> oh, gosh. The, the, the whiskey plush decrypted ate Cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Things more dangerous than me. Whiskey plushy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, God. But no, it's yeah, been it's a pleasure all having you. It's all positive, yeah, exactly. Oh, there we go. I just thought it said O Pog, or just Pog had been changed for a little funny. It does look like Pog, that's now canon. There we go. No. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> well, actually, uh, the little fucking patch on the plushie's arm, it's actually there, and it's easy to understand what this is uh, saying. There we go. But yes, uh, with that, I think that I'm gonna go and get some sleep too. Not a bad shot. I was gonna ask, as you were our guest, do you have any suggestions for a raid? Ooh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I see Sharklet streaming. Yes, that might not be a bad shot. What is she up to today? Voices of the of Void. Yeah, and we have we have like solidarity the going on there. Like on topic. Yes, I want to give it a go at some point, but I so I'll probably like raid in. She's like, also Hi. suffering from being British. I, it's, it's, it's terminal. We can't fix it. <laughs> I find it funny because you see, you said you said it like you know uh, there is a little bit of a solidarity thing going on there. But I said she's British. Ah, uh, yeah. Actually, let's go read. What about Ariana? You mentioned it like mental illness. Okay, <laughs> Ariana works too. I've actually not like met Ariana like ever. I've seen her in passing, but now I'm like having some like neural activation there. And I think you... Ariana is lovely. There Ariana is absolutely lovely. I collabed with her a bunch of times. Ariana, it is then. Uh, what is the raid message going to be? Oh no. She's thinking. Real hard. It also seems that Lumi has a birthday from what someone said, but... Hmm. And then again, like, Ariana is someone you wanted to raid, so I would say that's a good pick too. Yeah, maybe not a bad shout. I will go with that. Don't swat this moth. There we go. 
How don't swap capitalized. It's more. You brought it back. Oh, for fuck's sake. No! <laughs> oh, God. Hang on, I will put your wiggly and my wiggly in it. There we go. Fantastic. There we go. This is a risky plush stream now. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I am more than happy with that. Alright. Let's go raid into Ariana. There we go. Awesome. Brilliant. It has been a pleasure, Whiskey. And hopefully we will see you back here again in the future. Take care yes. of yourself. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Um, if you're not following me already, if you're not looking at my stuff, do that. Change that. It's worth it. I promise. I'm streaming again, 8pm. Streaming a live reading of Mothman 19... 66 with Hecker, who you've seen in chat. And also throw subs at him. He needs money. I don't need money, that's not true. <laughs> if you uh. don't need money, give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. Uh. Awesome. Alright, I'm gonna go send everyone off now. Oh yeah, Magmar sub to you. Great. My yes. people gave you money, that's good. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey, there we go. Yeah, it worked! Successful psyop. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna go to outro, and we're gonna go get our raid on. Ta -ta. So like that. Whiskey told me to. <laughs> Is it a psyop at that point when they just do it because I told them to do it? <laughs> uh, all right. Let's get it going. I'm gonna like deafen and stuff real quick. Oh, yeah, Ritson just stopped. Cool. Thanks, Ritson. Woo! Ristin, there we go. All right, raiding before Ristin. it ends. Oh no, the fucking hype train's in the way. Oh shit. Um. Oh god, bro, this is funny. The, the pre-raid hype train. Okay, we're gonna wait. No, we're gonna have to do it again. We're gonna have to do it again. Fucking. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. But thank you, Ristin. I appreciate that big time. Hey guys, the hype train will go on for as long there we as go. Uh, the, the stream will go on for us. Oh, long hype as trains hype train cancel raids. That's it then. Oh, you. Thank you, but also, goddamn. Awesome. Don't swap this moth. And away we go. Oh my god. I said I, <laughs> the way. I, said I wasn't going to leave. <laughs> oh no. Hello, <laughs> oh, welcome in, uh, welcome in, Cliff. Cliff off? Uh, welcome in, Raiders. Hello, hello. Thank you for the raid. My name is Ariana Foxen. I am a... I don't know how to describe it. We do we do music and gaming. <laughs> the, I, the raid message. I knew it. You were playing with whiskey. And did you guys do that on purpose? Did you know that SWAT in full caps is going to put a chicken wing? <laughs> if... if uh, Yes, Canadian. Yeah, if if the tail on this F-16 uh, skin didn't let you already know. It was right there. <laughs> Cryptids. Ah, uh, I see. I'm going to pretend you did. For for context, because uh, Whiskey knows who SWAT is. But uh, it's because SWAT has... Uh, he goes out with 